Hey friends, welcome back for this entire house organization and cleaning video. This video is over three hours long, almost three and a half hours, and that's because it is a compilation of a bunch of older videos of mine from the past year or so. You'll see many different stages our house was in, you can see projects happening, but most of all I'm sharing the decluttering and organizing projects to motivate you guys to get your home under control too. I know you guys love to see new content from me every single week, but this week just got away from me and so I hope you can bear with me for a nice long marathon cleaning video. Maybe some of you guys are new and haven't seen these videos or what, but it's definitely full of tons of organization and motivation. So if you need some of that, this video is for you. Now sit back, relax, throw it on your TV while you're doing your chores, the dishes, or maybe you're just hanging out at home today watching this. But thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Allison if you're new here, and today I am sharing a spring clean with me. Now I'm sure you're seeing lots of these videos over on YouTube, and my channel is no different. It is springtime, the weather is warming up, dust and allergens are at an all-time high, and I am super motivated to be deep cleaning and scrubbing my house top to bottom. Today I am starting to focus in our bedroom. I spend a lot of time in here. If you are new to this channel, you may not know, but I recently gave birth to our daughter, Madeline. She was born in January so we're still pretty new at this whole thing and we do spend a lot of time in our bedroom she naps in here you can see her bassinet is there we also do most of her feedings up here you can see our breastfeeding pillow and all of that so all that to say a lot of time is spent in our bedroom and so I really wanted to focus on getting this space as clean and fresh as possible especially for this springtime and so I'm gonna be doing a deep dive on our bed I'm gonna be cleaning all of these sheets even our mattress cover all of the pillowcases all of that I'm gonna be making sure all the dust is out of there any doggy footprints are cleaned off and just have a fresh set on that I'm also gonna go around and minimize our room a bit you can see that we had a dog bed in here our dog Bucky was sleeping in that bed for a little bit but then he's now just mostly sleeping on the carpet right here next to Christian's side of the bed so that can go out of here it's not the largest bedroom in the room so all of the floor space is pretty valuable and especially for spending so much time in here I really want this space to be as simplified and as clean as possible it can be really overwhelming with all the little baby things and stressful baby situations in the middle of the night and if having a clean space is one way I can minimize any stress and make my life a little bit easier I definitely want to focus on that Before we get too far into this video, I do want to get to know you guys a little bit better. So if you are new to my channel or you're a longtime viewer and follower and subscriber, head down to the comment section and introduce yourself and let me know where you're from. Either what state you're born in, where you're currently living, whatever you feel comfortable sharing. I love getting to know you guys and chatting with you all down in the comment section. So head down there, let me know what's going on. And after you do that, make sure to give this video a like if you are enjoying all of the cleaning motivation. Moving over to our bedside nursery, I have a whole video here where I give you a tour of everything and all of our essentials, and it's definitely changed and evolved, and I'm very ready to simplify this space. That was a big goal of this video, was to clean up this area, minimize it, get rid of some of the clutter, and move things into her nursery that we don't use anymore. She's nine weeks old as I'm filming this video, and so she's a little bit less high maintenance. She's not waking up as much throughout the night, and so I know that I can just kind of downsize all of the things we have over here. So I'm going through everything here on our nightstand, all of these little containers, moving these over to her nursery and just clearing out this space. I also had had a couple things fall behind our nightstand and fall underneath our bed, so I need to go underneath our bed and clear all of that out, and you might be surprised to see how much junk and random things I pulled out of there. And then also, during this, of course, mom life, we got interrupted by baby girl. It was time for her nap, so we had to clear out of this space, let her nap in her bassinet, and so I moved over and worked on laundry while all of this was happening. Bye. 
Bucky had got some mud stains on our comforter, so I am just taking this Breft laundry stain remover. It's meant for baby stains, but it was the easiest thing to grab, and guys, I highly, highly recommend this stain remover. Okay, a little bit later, we're back in the bedroom and here is everything that I am taking out of this space. This was either on my nightstand, in my nightstand, under the bed, in the diaper caddy, just tons of stuff that was just cluttering the space and I am so glad to be simplifying this. Another big thing that I wanna tackle is um, organizing all of these cords and cables. I didn't realize how many things I would want plugged in next to me and this also just takes up a ton of floor space. So I really wanted to work on figuring out how to manage all these cables. We have one plug in the very back middle of our bed that is very challenging to get to. Like we have to pull the bed out, I have to climb behind the bed. It's a whole ordeal, but I'm very glad I took the time to do this today because it really is going to clean up all these cables you'll see that we'll actually eliminate all these cables on the ground right here and so it's definitely worth the effort but also just kind of annoying I'm also swapping out this big trash can with a trash can we kept downstairs. This used to be by our dining room area, and you'll see it a little bit later how we had it set up, but Bucky actually got into this and ate a dirty diaper, which is the nastiest thing I can possibly think of. So we need a new diaper trash solution for downstairs if that doesn't happen again. And then also a smaller, cuter trash can is exactly what this space needed. I can get rid of the big metal one and put that back in our garage. Now that all the spaces are simplified and clean, I'm gonna go through and do a very thorough vacuuming. Like I said, the dog is in here all the time and there's tons of dog hair. And I feel like that adds to a lot of like the allergies in the room and especially with baby girls sleeping in here, I want it to be as dust and allergen free as possible. So it's easy breathing and easy sleeping for everybody. So lots of vacuuming, really focusing on getting in all of the little nooks and crannies and corners in this space. Washing all of the bedding took quite a bit longer. I like to do it on a very hot setting with lots of um, extra like bleach additives and stuff just to make sure that our whites stay white and it truly gets nice and clean and hot. But it does take quite a while for our washing machine. It like takes like an hour and a half for each cycle. So these two loads of laundry basically took the rest of the day. And so finally it is almost like nine o'clock here when I am making the bed, putting the mattress cover back on and just refreshing this space. And this is what really brings the whole bedroom back together. It's the last thing we're doing in here. Because this is a spring cleaning video and I was really motivated to get this room as fresh as possible, I did focus on doing like a full wash down of everything. Like I already mentioned, we did all the mattress protectors, but I also took off all of the pillow covers and like some pillows have like pillow inserts in their covers and then a cover over that. I wanted to take off absolutely everything that I could from this bed and wash it. I even washed some of our pillows to get those really fresh and fluffy. Um, I don't recommend doing that for all of your pillows. Read the washing instructions and listen to what the product tells you to wash. But I will say it is like the best feeling in the world to go to sleep on fresh, clean pillows, bedding, absolutely everything, especially when you spend all day cleaning and making the space as fresh as possible. Making the bed just pulls the space entirely together. Thank you. 
Moving into the kitchen, I'm gonna spend some time decluttering, organizing, and just reworking our pantry. I've said this a million times, but having a baby changes so much in your life that you don't expect. And one of those things is also grocery shopping. It's a little bit more complicated now, a little more involved. And we were so blessed by friends and family who stocked our pantries and did Instacart orders for us, brought us meals, cooked for us, all of the things. And as time's gone on, those have slowly stopped. Obviously, no one's gonna cook for you forever besides yourself. And it was time to kind of reclaim our kitchen and our pantry and everything and reorganize it how I like to use it. So many other people have been using this space and thankfully filling it and we are so grateful for that time. But it's really nice to be able to reown this space, reorganize it, take everything out and give it a fresh start. It's also a good way to get an inventory of what we have in our pantry and what to add to our next Walmart pickup order because I'm still not brave enough to go grocery shopping with baby girl like in a stroller or a baby carrier and all of that. We are rocking the Walmart pickup where we just drive up, pop the trunk, they fill it up and I drive away and I am so grateful for things like that. We did want to do Walmart Plus, but sadly with the military base, it's just hit or miss if somebody can actually deliver onto the base. And so it's a hassle to like call them, tell them to meet at the base gate, and then we can escort them on or we'll get the groceries at the visitor parking lot. If you're a military family, you understand the struggle, but like it's a minor struggle, but we're just overall grateful for the Walmart pickup option because it's definitely taken out the stress from having to grocery shop and all of that. But like I said, pantry, I'm going shelf by shelf, taking everything out, cleaning all of the drawers and the shelves, and then going through, throwing away what's expired, and just reorganizing it so I know what we actually have. These clear acrylic bins can get a little bit pricey and are kind of a larger or a steeper investment up front, but I do love them so much for storing and organizing our food because it's easy to see what we have, especially because we have a pantry with closed doors, so I'm not worried about hiding all of the mess and the clutter. I don't mind if you open the cabinet doors and then you can see everything in the baskets. So that's actually a plus for me. And then I also, of course, love my big OXO pop containers for all of my common baking supplies. So once again, another kind of pricey investment, but overall, I really have enjoyed having them. They've made our pantry easier to use. They've kept us organized and simplified. And we also are wasting less items because I don't have like four boxes of oatmeal laying around. All of my oats are in that one OXO pop container or all of our chips are kept in this one big clear bin. All of our snacks are there. So it's easy to keep track of what we have. So I definitely think it's worth the investment, but once again, to each their own. If you're interested in any of these organization things or spot anything in the video, a lot of things are linked on my Amazon storefront page. So if you want to find things in our home, check that out, scroll through it and see where some of my favorites are from. I'm not gonna do much to this shelf. It has all of my little baking things from molasses to baking sodas to food coloring. And I don't really go on this shelf a lot. And especially now I'm not really baking a ton. I don't have a lot of free time for things like that. So that shelf's staying the same. And then the shelf above it is super simple. It only has a couple of these pop containers with sugar, almond flour, powdered sugar. So finishing up the pantry isn't too hard. And then here are some of the after shots of what this space looks like all pulled together. next space that's going to get a lot of spring cleaning attention is our dining table. You can see it's not much of a dining table right now. It's a baby changing station, a junk spot, um, where we put all of our mail, where we keep a baby girl's car seat, like whatever random things I don't have a home for right now is living on the dining table. And I think it all started because we made this our like downstairs changing spot. We have a little changing mat and a diaper caddy, which is super functional for us, but clutter attracts more clutter. And just seeing a couple things laying on the 
this dining table makes it really easy to stack a bunch of other stuff. So I need to take the time today to actually go through it all, declutter it, clean it up, clean the table, vacuum the carpet, like all kinds of stuff, all kinds of attention needs to be paid to this room because we spend a surprising amount of time in here between diaper changes. I normally work at this table for like emails and stuff. We sort through mail here, like all kinds of things happen here. And it's so chaotic and cluttered that it's really stressful to walk into this space, especially because it's the first thing you walk through when you walk through our front door or when you're coming downstairs, you see over into this space. So having it just be super cluttered, it makes me not want to use this space, not want to look over here and I'm really happy to be taking the time to be cleaning it, decluttering it, sorting through the paperwork. Oh, paperwork's the worst, isn't it? But it desperately needed it and it's going to be such a satisfying before and after for this. This might be one of my favorite like before and afters in this video because this space just feels so clean now and I love walking through it here. So Christian thought that he was going to be selling the truck one day, so he cleared out everything from the glove box, and there's this little mini cabinet on the passenger side above the glove box, and I called that my truck cabinet. So I had put all kinds of girl things in here, my sunglasses, um, feminine products, band-aids, gum, all kinds of little things in there, so all of that was cleared out too. So I'm just going to sort through this little Walmart bag and just clean up everything that's trash, get rid of junk, maybe take out a ton of coins, and I am going to put everything back into this Walmart bag. You see me like throw away the Walmart bag because I thought I would have a place to put this all away and then I realized like all of this stuff just goes in a car so I'm going to be putting it back into that Walmart bag I'm going to grab it out of the trash don't worry it didn't touch any diapers in there but I'm going to just keep it back in this bag so it's easy to move back into whatever car happens next whether we keep Christian's car or we get a new one um, it's just going to be more contained that way so I took that and then put that away in the laundry room I'm also clearing off some of the things down here that were just taking up space one of the main things in this video is just clearing up floor space like we had our AC unit out for a day because it got really really hot out here in California randomly and so we had that down here for one day but I brought it upstairs also baby girl's bassinet attachment for her stroller I brought upstairs we loved that when she was really little because it's a safe spot for her to sleep so we could use that downstairs for her to sleep or obviously on walks but now she likes to be able to look around a little bit more she doesn't love the walks in the bassinet anymore so that's gonna be moving upstairs and put away probably until our next baby so that's kind of a little sad moment like graduating out of all the tiny little newborn things because she's growing up so fast but that's upstairs and now moving over to the diaper caddy I'm just going through this simplifying some stuff making sure that it's only essentials in here because like I said clutter attracts clutter and if I was just keeping random baby things that we don't absolutely need I definitely was going to keep putting more and more things on this pile but with that all simplified and the table cleared off I'm going to wipe it all down and surprisingly this table gets so dirty and dusty probably because it's just so large but stay tuned till the end of me wiping this down you'll see just how dirty it is it doesn't really ever show dirt which I really like but then also it's kind of a bad thing because that I forget to wipe it down and then if we ever eat at this table there's just tons of dust everywhere so good little reminder to wipe down your dining room table even if you don't think it's dirty trust me it probably is Now here is the after shots of the entryway and the dining room all cleaned up. It's still not totally spotless. There are baby things here. Like I said, we're still living in this space and using it as a makeshift changing table, but it's a huge improvement and lots of floor space, which means lots of hidden dog hair. So here I'm gonna pull out the vacuum, give this some love, give it some attention. And I'm also gonna have to ask Bucky to exit his crate. You guys can see that he just goes in there freely. He loves his little bed in there. He's very happy to hang out in there and just chill out. He's actually been super awesome with baby girl because we used 
to be super super active with him like walking every single day going out to parks all the time we go camping with him and he can run around and that has definitely slowed down a lot for him we still definitely get him out and exercise him but it's just not as much as it used to be but he's done such a good job adjusting and mellowing out and there's many times during the day where baby girl and i are just hanging out or she's eating or something and we'll just find him curled up in here but like i said dog hair all over the place so here's a little look at bucky's spot and where he hangs out and of course some bucky love for all of you who love to see him make cameos in the video um, a little more tidying up that I want to do downstairs. I am going to pull the big Fisher Price baby swing upstairs. I heard nothing but glowing reviews for this, but every single baby is different. And our little baby is just not a fan of swings. She has a little bit of reflux. So like sitting in this swing or laying on her back or um, car seats kind of like hurts her stomach a little bit and makes her spit up a whole lot. So she just wasn't a big fan of it and we never really used it. So I'm packing that up, putting that away also for the next baby. Um, she does, however, love this Love Every Play Gym. She sits in it multiple times a day. She does her tummy time on it and all of that. But we do wait at least like 20 to 30 minutes after she eats to lay her down on that. So that's kind of why we can't use the swing as much. It's like it just doesn't work for us. And she normally just cries when she's in it, even when it's been 20 or 30 minutes after she eats. Whereas Love Every Play Gym, she loves right away. So I'm moving that over into the corner where the swing used to be and making better use of the floor space and just clearing out more things. One more spot I'm gonna focus on downstairs for this spring cleaning video is our back door. Obviously, you guys have seen how big Bucky is and our backyard is always full of mud and he loves to bring it inside and somehow this door always gets covered in mud. So I'm gonna take the time here to wipe down the door, wipe down the walls, where the handles are, and just clean up all of the dirt and grime that builds up over here. This truly makes spring cleaning feel like spring cleaning to me because it's these little details in spots you never really focus on that get cleaned and make your house feel super fresh and ready for the new season. time for a little confession guys whenever I was taking those big ticket items out of a room I was just leaving them up here in this landing zone knowing that I would just stuff them in either our storage closet or the guest bedroom and so I was waiting till the very end all of the big items were pulled out the trash can the AC units the baby swings the dog bed all of that stuff was just piled up here and so the last thing in this video is to make this all find a home either in our guest room and our storage room and guys these rooms are just complete disasters right now I'm a little bit embarrassed like both these rooms that previously have like been pulled together and looked great but right now we just have so much stuff going in and out of this house we're redoing our dining room right now we recently redid the living room we're selling different pieces of furniture there's just kind of a bunch of like in between stuff happening in our house right now and we just need some places to just hold all of our stuff and right now we are just at capacity in the storage closet and in the guest bedroom i will have some satisfying decluttering videos coming eventually for this space when i have the time and the energy to address them but since these are are spaces that are more hidden away tucked away no one sees them but me when I add more junk to them they're not high on my priority list right now but maybe one day they will be but that's gonna be a wrap on this video thank you guys for following along I hope you found it motivating I hope you are doing some of your own spring cleaning and I also hope you enjoy all of these vacuum lines I'm going to leave you with at the end of this video make sure you're subscribed make sure you like this video and I will see you all in the next one bye Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison if you're new here and today we are tackling this storage closet disaster. I have done this storage closet organization many times on this channel, but it's just one of those spaces that requires lots of attention frequently. So today I'm going through this entire space, taking everything out, decluttering, organizing, cleaning, all of the above, all of your favorite stuff. And I'm doing my best to not just shove all of this into different hiding spots in the house. Sometimes I definitely fall into that trap of just moving
moving this problem from one space to another, but this time I'm really making the effort to actually take things to Goodwill, put things in the trash where they belong, and just not relocate everything. A few things will get relocated, but you'll have to stay to the end of the video to see where I move them to. But the first thing we're doing is just pulling out some of the biggest items blocking off this space. The worst part about this room is that we can't even walk into it anymore, and we definitely need to reach some things in here. Our printer is in the back of this space. We have different organizations set up for things in the back of this closet, and we just need to be able to walk in here. So the first thing I'm doing is pulling out a couple things that we are going to be selling. And the first thing is going to be this baby swing. Madeline always hated it, so that's going away. We're also gonna be pulling out a big stack of drawers. Christian's gonna use that in the garage for his organization. And then I'm also pulling out a wipe warmer. So just some basic stuffs and just starting to tackle this massive project. My mom always told me during school that the way that you eat an elephant is one bite at a time. And this has been an overwhelming project. So I'm gonna to listen to her advice, hear her voice in my ears, and just tackle this closet one little step at a time. Moving on to another day. I talk about this more later in the video, but I can't just tackle these big projects in one day like I used to, and I'm sure that's the case with a lot of you guys too. You just don't have the time to devote two or three hours to a big project like this. You have to just work in bits and pieces. And so on the first day, I just pulled out everything we wanted to sell. That way Christian could take pictures of it all and get it listed. And then I put everything else that was not selling back in here. And today I am back in here once again, starting to work a little bit more. So I have some things in Trader Joe's bags that are just donations. like the, I needed to take them to Goodwill, but I shoved them in this closet instead of actually doing that. So in this video, I made a pile of all the donations and those actually made their way out of the house, surprisingly. And then I'm also working through just a bunch of random stuff. With our baby girl growing out of a lot of things and leaving the newborn stage behind, a lot of baby items are like no longer needed, but I still wanna hold on to them in the future for future babies, hopefully. So a lot of the times I just toss them into the closet knowing one day I'll get to it and that day has come. So here I'm just gonna start stacking everything that's baby related that I want to save inside this bassinet and then I'm going to dress that later. best helpers here maddie and bucky of course keeping me company while i destroy yeah we're talking about you but while i destroy the upstairs landing zone um bucky of course is investigating everything making sure we're all good and i am uh, a little overwhelmed it's looking a lot better in here already like i'm definitely making progress i can walk in here but i'm just overwhelmed. This whole pile is a stack of all baby things, pregnancy things, postpartum things, and I have this bin of like baby things, but it's already getting full and there's nowhere in this storage. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you. Yeah? Are you having fun? But what I was saying is I don't really have room in this space to store this and I kind of need a second one already because I think this is like almost full. Like I don't think I'm going to fit everything that I have pregnancy related into this. So we're gonna need to think about that because this whole pile and more need to go in here. So that is one thing to conquer in here. I need to find also where I'm gonna even store this bin. I'm thinking I'm gonna move either some of our Christmas decor out to the garage or this bin will move out to the garage. I know Christian kind of has all that space and it's definitely like his space and his domain in the garage. So I hate to just like encroach on that, but I don't know where this is going to fit in here. Maybe somewhere up here, maybe the top shelf it'll fit on but we do like to keep the boxes different um, 
things came in that we like might want to resell like we have our instant pot our playstation and like we have sold um multiple kitchen appliances that blank spot was our nespresso that we just sold and it's just nicer to have the box that it came in when you sell it so we might i kind of don't want to get rid of those maybe those can go into the garage i don't know i need to rethink this space and obviously do a little bit more cleaning up around here another big to do to tackle is going to be this bookshelf obviously i just cover it in junk all the time and it's definitely time for me to go through this declutter some stuff rehome some stuff my books are just falling all over the place now i just shared a recent book haul if um you are new to my channel if you're not following me over on instagram i've been really into reading lately so i just shared my summer book haul so you can go see what i'm currently reading over there but i'm thinking i might pull some books out of here to display somewhere else in the house but it, there's just like tons of stuff there's so much to go through and I'm a little bit overwhelmed. The one good thing is, is I've got the cutest helpers in the whole wide world and everything out here, like this is all pile of holiday decor and I have places for all of these things to go. I just need to put them in their bins. This is trash. I have wrapping paper that has a home. I'm not sure where this light's gonna go. We might sell it. We are currently trying to sell this baby swing. Um, we got it as a really generous gift, but Madeline hated it. Like she's never sat in it for more than five seconds without screaming and crying. So we're trying to sell that because it's just not working for us and it's huge. Like we do not have room to store this. Same with our wife warmer, we didn't love it. Um, this dog bed we're gonna probably keep, but I don't know where it's going to go. And then there's just a bunch of random stuff. Cables, we have more organizers, our luggage, a pregnancy pillow. Where does that go? I have no idea. So I'm hoping we're in the it gets worse before it gets better stage. I'm actually, I'm positive we're in that stage right now. I just need to think through some things and um, do stuff that I don't wanna do. So how are you doing, Madeline? Your first declutter project, how it's, how's it going? Good, you got a giraffe and a book? Now at the end of the video, I'm gonna go through and show you all of these bins that line these back walls and how they're organized and stuff. But this one bin right here is typically our dirtiest, or not dirtiest, like messiest, like most disorganized. We dig into this one a lot and it's all of our wrapping papers. Not this bin specifically, but I did get as a bridal shower gift from my mother-in-law, a big basket or a bin full of wrapping paper and tissue paper and bags. And it was such a helpful, gift like we reach into this all the time every holiday every birthday we have a friend's birthday a friend's kid's birthday like anything happens we are fully prepared and I never have to like go to Target and buy like a way overpriced gift bag like I have every occasion saved in here and it's all in one spot and also shout out to the wives this makes wrapping presents for husbands super easy Christian knows where this bin is and he knows for any holiday any birthday anything that he needs to wrap himself mostly just anything he wants to give me he knows to go into this bin and he can find every there so I love this bin specifically it is like probably the most used bin that we go into in our storage closet and I was just about to start putting away all of our spring decor when I noticed Madeline had a little spit up so we're gonna do a quick little outfit change for her and then get right back to it Keep on trying to you give me a sign give me a sign oh give me a sign at the bottom of this bin, I found a 4th of July bandana for Bucky, so I called him upstairs and got him all done. He is such a cute dog. He absolutely adores wearing bandanas and collars and like his leash and his harness. Like he dies when he gets to do that. So he's always very excited when he knows that he's getting a new piece of neckwear. So 
I also love these bins that I have for spring and fall decor because they force me to keep my collection minimal and contained and also help me declutter items. I know that this container is the only space that I have to store every season's decor items and so if I want something new, something old has to come out and be donated or used somewhere else because it just won't fit. So I went through and just decluttered a couple things out of the bottom of this bin. Basically if it was empty at the end of the season I knew that I wasn't using it and so it was just a couple random Valentine's Day decor pieces that were better off going to Goodwill and somebody else using them. But that's what I really enjoy about these bins. They force you to declutter even when I really don't want to, but it's a much more manageable way to keep everything contained and not having to buy like four or five totes just for every single season. You think about it too When the lights go out And there's no doubt that I should be with That I should be We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control I know this is not ideal storage solutions but it does work out perfectly that all of our wrapping paper rolls fit underneath this storage rack and so I just stick with it. If it's not broke, don't fix it and also Christian knows that this is where everything is so he knows to go in there too. Also I had found a couple random Christmas decor items floating around in this closet. I don't know how that happened because I've decluttered this closet since last Christmas so I don't know when those made their way in there but I just stashed a couple more things in the Christmas bins and then I'm tidying up a bit because I'm wrapping up this day of progress. Okay, this is where I'm going to stop today. Um, my speed of decluttering has slowed down a lot with this little one, and I think it's time for us to go for a walk. Does that sound like fun? Go see the neighborhood? But um, I'm going to pause on this for today. I've made a lot of progress, though. The biggest accomplishment being that you can now walk in here, and most of like just the junk that was laying out is back in the bins and put up. Out here I have a few small piles, ignore Maddie's toys, but this is part of our little play gym that's going to go with the baby stuff, but it's covered in mud because Bucky, so I want to clean that up. This is the pile of things to sell, minus the dog bed. Still not sure where I'm putting that. I think this trash can's going to move into the guest room. I've got a stack of pillowcases for our linen closet, and then our growing pile of donations. This is going to be pulled downstairs and taken to Goodwill. When I come back, which will just be like one second for you guys, so that hopefully only a day for me, I'm going to go through and consolidate all of the baby stuff. I also need to go through my organizers. This bookshelf needs to be gone through. And then I also want to take a peek into some of these bins and do more decluttering and figure out where I'm going to fit my extra bin. But as for right now, me and Miss Maddie, we're going to go for a walk.
Now, organizing this bookshelf was one of the things I was most nervous about in this project. I just thought it was gonna be a much bigger task, but like most things, once I got started, it was easy to get the momentum going and actually just go shelf by shelf and just knock it out in a few minutes. A lot of the times these decluttering projects seem a lot more daunting than they actually are. And like I said in the beginning, like how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? Just breaking this up into smaller chunks and smaller days and smaller decluttering sessions is a new strategy to me, but much more manageable. When I stopped decluttering, the day before this clip I was tired and I did not want to tackle the bookshelf so I just stopped focused on Maddie and then the next day I was ready to come back and tackle this bookshelf and it really wasn't bad so sometimes all you need to do is step back from a project take a breather and you'll feel a lot better and a lot more motivated to tackle it An ongoing challenge for our house recently has been losing our office space upstairs when I turned it into a nursery for our baby. Obviously, it was worth the sacrifice, but we have office supplies that we regularly need to access and that we use and need, but don't really have a formal office space set up for it all to be. So I'm always trying new things and switching things around because there's just not something set in stone for this. So I'm actually taking this little Ikea bin. I love these bins. They're like $4 and putting some little organizers in there and moving our printer paper, printer ink, tape, post-it notes, pens, pencils, those kinds of things, and stacking that on the bookshelf too. It's not the greatest solution, but it's a solution for right now, and I'm gonna live with it until we think of something better. And then I'm also gonna just put away these little random doodads, and half of the things left on the floor over here are actually just meant for the trash and gonna be thrown away. We're moving through the night like we're from a different star Flying over streets and the broken hearts but they can even touch us we found a different beat paradise is waiting and we bought the lead oh getting caught in the mist is so many that never get out this tote has all of our organization extras. I do like to keep a couple of these on hand, but I realized that I was not gonna have room for all of my bins to fit in here. So I did a little bit of decluttering. And like I mentioned earlier, that's why I love this method of storing all of our stuff. It forces me to declutter things that I'm just holding onto and not using because everything within that category needs to fit within this tote. Before I add the play gym to that yellow bin, I am gonna wipe down all the dirt that I mentioned earlier. Like I said, Bucky just makes her house messy in so many ways, and thankfully this was just a little bit of mud that came up super easily. Now for the tricky part of consolidating all of this stuff into just one bin, I'll talk a little bit later, but ultimately I think I wanted to just need two bins, but for this video today, I ended up just shoving as much as possible in here and um, kind of not worrying about organizing the inside of this bin. It's all the same category and it's all together, so that's good enough for me today. I must have been distracted with Maddie or just squeezing everything in there, but this was the moment that I realized I forgot to put all of my pregnancy clothes in this bin too. Like I said guys, we were just trying to cram as much possible in this bin. One, two, 
keep it nice and clean Not freak out and cause a scene I try to hold it together Keep it together Not sure who I really am Just be cute and super bland I try to hold We're nearing the end of this day of working on the project, so I wanted to tidy the space up a little bit. It did feel pretty silly every single day that I was done working in here to kind of clean it up a little bit, knowing I would just pull it all out another day and make it messy, but it definitely kept my sanity, and it kept the rest of the house looking a little bit tidier. Now here, Christian came up and was gonna help me carry down all of the donations, and we took those straight to Goodwill, so this whole pile is out of the house and gone and off to better homes, thankfully. That's one thing I definitely struggle with is actually just getting it out of the house. A lot of times, I just stuff it inside the storage closet, so I'm thankful to have it actually moving on. Okay, last day that we are working on the storage closet. I have a rough game plan of what's happening with all of this stuff. We have trash, things Christian's selling, things that are going in the guest room and the closet. I need to sort through all of our paperwork, but that will happen later on. And it's looking really good in here. I decided that I'm going to end up moving all of the baby stuff, including my pregnancy pillow, over into Madeline's closet. She has a huge closet in her room, and obviously she's a baby. She doesn't have much stuff to be storing in there, so I don't feel bad taking up that space. And I decided that I'm going to end up getting another one of these Costco bins, and then doing one bin as like baby things, like baby clothes, newborn things, her little snuggle me pillow. And then the other one will be all pregnancy and postpartum things. So one bin for baby, one bin for me for whenever that happens again. And then those are gonna live in her closet for now. There's space in there and I don't think I have anything else to be storing in there. So that'll clear up the floor. I've already decluttered these bins quite a bit. I might try to consolidate our Christmas tree shelf with these boxes up here. Not sure if that'll happen. And this shelf will be changing pretty soon. If you stay tuned and subscribe for my next video, I'm actually building a couple of bookshelves around the house. And so these will not all be full of books anymore. And I don't have anything else to store here quite yet. So it's just gonna be a little bit different soon. So if you wanna see this evolve, make sure you're subscribed for future like DIY house projects. But um, this is actually pretty organized. I have this office supply bin my arts and crafts shelf, so my Cricut machine and my like bin full of those supplies. I have a camera bag, and then this bin is full of like my balloon prep, so I have balloon tape, balloons, the balloon inflator, and as you can see, there's no junk on these shelves, which is a huge improvement. So just a few last minute things to tie up in here, and then we will get to the before and after shots. I know, I know I said that I wasn't going to do this. I wasn't gonna just shuffle things around and put them in another room, but really the only things moving into this space that don't belong here are things that Christian's actively selling on Facebook Marketplace. So fingers crossed they're going to be selling within the next week or two, and then if they don't sell, honestly, we'll either curb alert them for our neighborhood or just bring them to Goodwill next time we're there. So these are not permanent things. They have a plan. There is an action plan in place. So hopefully it won't all just stay in the guest room for that long. And now all that's left to do really is just tidy up a little bit of the clutter left behind and a little bit of the mess that's still staying around in here and then we'll be good to go. Obviously. 
Honestly, this closet is um less than ideal, but there's just not a good solution to storing these giant baby items. Like we have her bassinet in one, we have her travel stroller case, we have her car seat case, we have her camping duvet, pack and play. Like they're all just big and bulky and take up a ton of space. So I'm just going to close this door and pretend they're not there. Um, down the staircase, you can see my pregnancy pillow. I noticed that it was actually disgusting and I'm not really interested and um, putting in the effort to clean that out, to like pull the pillowcase off of that, wrangle it back in. It was like 30 bucks on Amazon. And I remembered that by the end of the pregnancy, I wasn't even using it that much. So I figure I'm not gonna miss it. And if I do miss it, I'll just buy another one, but that's just gnarly and needs to go. I think Bucky found it cause there's like some weird like doggy footprint stains. So I think that might be what happened to it. And now before I give you the full reveal, I wanna remind you guys what this room used to look like. And here it is now. I would have done a little bit more in here, like moving the wreaths and stuff, but Madeline is um, at her breaking point. And like I mentioned, my decluttering projects and how much time I have to devote to making these look perfect is significantly less now that I have a baby. But we did get everything accomplished that I wanted to at least. These bins are back in order. I hide our printer in here. These are our Christmas decor bins, some more luggage, and then I already covered the bookshelf. But the big thing that I wanted to accomplish in here was to have this space actually be functional again. And I say we accomplished that because you can walk straight into here. And besides the camera and Madeline's toys, we have a clean floor. And I just moved the things that Christian's selling into the guest room right here. Those should be gone within a week or two. And that's gonna be a wrap. We have a sleepy baby who's ready to go get out of her pajamas and get a diaper change. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope this declutter was satisfying for you guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Our garage is the messiest place in our house by far and serves the most purposes. It is a woodworking shop, an auto body shop, a gym, a golf driving range, a storage space, you name it, this space does it and it's a hot mess express in there. In today's video, my husband and I are gonna finally tackle decluttering, organizing, rearranging and redoing this space to make it more functional and mostly organized. The biggest challenge in this space is that there's so much that we keep in this room, but not everything has a home so when it's time to put something away there's not a sure spot where it goes so this video we're all about downsizing this space making it more functional and giving everything a home that way it's easier to maintain and keep put together but let's start off by looking at what we are starting with in this space I don't think we're the only family that does this, but we actually don't have space in our garage to park our cars. Even though that's the point of this garage, we live in a safe neighborhood and would rather use this square footage for other activities. And we have plenty of hobbies in this household that we need all of this space. Our strollers out here, the gym, the golf stuff, everything. And the main thing we're gonna be focusing on organizing today is this back corner and these workbenches. These workbenches are low key the bane of my existence because there's no storage and organization to them. So everything, woodworking, tools, car supplies, all of that stuff stays spread out on top of these surfaces, which is just a disaster. It never looks neat, it never looks orderly. And so step one is we are actually downsizing the number of surfaces in this space. It might seem counterintuitive to have more storage and organization but by getting rid of and clearing out this miter saw bench we're gonna create a lot more space and have it less visually cluttered and then later on we're gonna address um, creating more organization downsizing decluttering and organizing everything left behind to not have that problem again but step one is gonna be taking out this miter saw bench Christian this day that we started working on this project just took a picture on his phone posted it on Facebook marketplace and had it sold within I think two or three hours I think he listed the bench and the saw total for $60 online just to have somebody come and get it out of our way it was more valuable to have it just gone and out of our space than for us to wait around and make some extra money off of it but we were so glad to have this out of the room and it's gonna open up so many possibilities for reorganizing this space rearranging some of the bigger items in here and making the garage feel more spacious no going back there's no going back to your own life no living in the past we're over that I'm feeling it tonight riding on the dizzying high
window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door With the miter saw bench out of the way, we decided to move the table saw over in its place. It's a much smaller footprint on this wall than the previous bench was, so once that sells and it gets taken out of this room, you'll see just how spacious this room feels. Our plan for the garage was to start with the big items first, rearrange all the big furniture pieces, pull out the bench that we were selling, and move all of those big things around. It was gonna be really satisfying and a bunch of big wins to kickstart this project and help with the motivation that we desperately needed. And then all of the little things that were on top of these surfaces we were getting rid of or moving around, we just piled in that back corner to deal with later. We'll have a Netflix marathon, KG saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music on all the way, baritone. And to make the space visually cleaner and less cluttered, we decided to take down this extra wall organizer. These are super handy for organizing all of the tools, but we decided it was worth it to lose this extra organization space to have it a little bit less visually cluttered on the walls. We're gonna tackle this pile by categorizing everything. So we're grouping all like things together. So all of the tools are going back on the miter saw bench. We're gonna make a pile for car parts and oil and things for the cars. We're gonna make a pile for gardening, a place for the gym stuff. Just categorizing things so we can see it all in one place. And then we're gonna further purge and organize from there. We can spend all day
it was at this point we started getting a little overwhelmed. It seemed like we just kept making bigger and bigger messes and not seeing a lot of progress after we moved all the big furniture pieces around. And there was just so many little tiny things to organize and not a ton of storage solutions. So we took a step back and took a breather and then looked at what we had to organize and work with and realized that we had a lot of screws. All of these little plastic containers took up a lot of space and they were just screws. And we have a screw organizer precisely for this. So Christian's gonna take a lot of time here to go through and actually tackle organizing this organizer. I just said organize like 17 times. Forgive me, there's not a better synonym right now. But he's gonna go through and organize this, sort all the screws, get rid of the random little doodads, and make this functional, and then also be eliminating all of those giant buckets of screws that were laying around. This is quite a long process and one that I couldn't really help Christian on, so I went inside with Maddie and I'm gonna use a little YouTube magic to fast forward to it all being done and organized and a couple labels being placed. And then we're gonna get back to just cleaning and organizing the garage. That brings us down, so come on now. Let's be free, just be yourself. Keep on doing what you do, doing what you do. Most of the little things got organized onto the wall-mounted thing or in the screw organizer, but a lot of the bigger tools like our jigsaw, a cordless circular saw, and a couple other things don't have a formal home yet, so they're gonna just live on the bottom of the workbench. But our goal to make sure this space stays clean and put together is to not have anything left out on top of the workbench. Like we're okay with the bottom shelf being for storage, but we want the top shelf to be empty and ready to use at all times. to express yourself in your own way and we could have some fun no problems coming in our way i would like you just the way you are and you would like me just now this is only part one of our garage makeover series we want to do a part two to this that's a lot more aesthetics focused i want to paint the wall mount so it's a little bit prettier in there we want to get a tool chest in here and then work a lot on this back corner more to make it more visually appealing this part one's all about it becoming more functional and then part two will be that so if you look closely on the workbench there's now a new pile of things those are all the car tools and supplies and christian's gonna end up moving those into a costco bin which is not very functional like they're not going to be easy to get into but that's because we want most of those items to be living in the tool chest we're gonna add eventually. It's just not in the cards to happen this month, but stay tuned and subscribe for that video coming in the future. We're gonna dive in depth into that back corner, organizing the tool chest, and some more aesthetic upgrades for like the real makeover part of this video. It is the next day and I'm not quite sure how much got filmed. <laughs> Christian wanted to power through this entire project in one day and I was dealing with a sad baby and just life got in the way so I wasn't able to be the camera person as much as possible. But it is so much better and bigger and more spacious and organized in this place. <laughs> Maddie's very excited about it. But I thought I'd give you a final look at what happened off camera. Let me remind you guys what we were starting with in this space. And here is the updated garage setup. Just 
So first thing we did was get rid of the miter bench that we had with the miter saw on it. Christian actually had somebody come buy it from him and pick it up that like very day. So that cleared up space. And then we were able to move the table saw over here, which cleared up this corner, which is where we're gonna store um, some golf things, the stroller. If you're not familiar or your husband's not super into golf, <laughs> This is a golf net so you can like hit golf balls from in here and like practice and it catches the balls. I'm probably describing that very poorly, but that's the whole golf set up in the middle of the garage. I'll link my last garage organization video here where I show Christian making this full organizer thing. So we have the drill holster, all of the chargers up there, wood planers and batman, our circular saw, screwdrivers our sander and all of the sanding paper. The most time consuming part of the project was probably just organizing all these screws and we're not quite done. Christian has the uh, label maker right here and he's gonna finish doing that later. Some storage underneath the bench. And then the area we're not quite done with is the scrap wood pile and then all these shelves back here. We need a couple more Costco bins, some more organization in here, but uh, it's a lot better and there's actually room to walk back here now. The other side is the gym setup. Maddie. Maddie also wants to narrate this video. We plan on expanding the floor of it a little farther down now. We also want to add a dumbbell rack and then a weight plate rack just to free up more space on the floor, but that's an expense we're not willing to do right now. We also want to get more mirrors and hang them up so you can actually see your full body in the mirror. So sorry, I couldn't show every little square inch of this project and not the like final big things falling into place and everything getting organized. It was a very long day, like it was a full day project, I think. Christian started it at like 10 a.m. with me and then he finished at like 4 p.m. or something crazy. So a full day project, not done. I still want to do more things in here, but done for now. I mentioned in my last video that sometimes done is better than perfect. And so I'm glad this room is done. But that's a wrap on this garage organization. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. This entryway table is the place where things go to die, basically. Bucky loves his bandanas. He saw me pull this out and immediately wanted to investigate. And what do I do? I just stab them onto, actually, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is a meat thermometer. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I love to change things in my house all the time. So here we are, impromptu room makeover. <laughs> Like the day before. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back for more decluttering. If you're new here, my name's Allison and I share all kinds of homemaking, decluttering, DIY project videos here on YouTube. I also share about my life as a military wife, um, a mom, I have an eight year old baby girl who is napping upstairs right now, so we are using this time as well as possible. Although I think I just saw my husband pull into the house. That'll be interesting. Yes, he is here. <laughs> that changes things a little bit, but we're gonna be decluttering a lot today So I'm gonna start in the playroom area. I have this entryway table behind me that you cannot see I also have Maddie's toy storage over here and all of these books on these shelves My book collection is growing quicker than uh, our room can handle so I think I might take some of these down I might take the shelves down in this video. I don't know. I'm getting ahead of myself I'm gonna start on the two big storage furniture pieces in here that have just collected tons of junk So our entryway tables from Ikea and I DIY'd it with some uh what's this called, rattan, to make it a little bit more textured and interesting, and it is filled up to the brim. This drawer I have not touched in a long time. I keep telling myself that uh, I'm gonna organize all of my business receipts here. Have not done that yet. Also over here is a bunch of random stuff, so I need to go through here, declutter this, simplify, get in here, and I don't know exactly where everything goes in here. This entryway table is the place where things go to die, basically. Things that don't have a home end up in here, so there's just a mishmash of stuff, and I either need to find homes for it or get rid of it. So that's my goal for the first project in this video. 2 a.m. in the car playing our favorite song Turn it up, windows down, we sing along Bucky loves his bandanas. He saw me pull this out and immediately wanted to investigate. That has just begun. The moon is bright. Let's have some fun. Oh, this is everything. With you right next to me. 
Christian also gifted me a Lego set to help me pass the time while we were waiting for baby girls to arrive. And I just don't think I have space for it to stay fully assembled. But I also don't want to get rid of it. So I'm going to disassemble it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it in this cabinet because we keep all of our games and puzzles here. But it's a big box, so it might go upstairs in the storage cabinet or a storage closet. That's another space that I want to get into, into decluttering later today. They say we're crazy, it's too much. Deep in love Oh, oh this is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go This is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go. This is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go. Okay, now I'm getting to some harder decisions. I got this as a gift for Christmas this past year. It's like a charging station, so you should be able to fit any iPhones, iPads, a watch, AirPods, all of that. And we've loved it in this drawer, but since we got the new desk downstairs and we put in a little wireless charger and more low-profile charging solutions, we don't reach for this ever. I mean, I charge the AirPods in here sometimes, but I don't think it's often enough that I want to keep this in here because this drawer is always a hot mess and I think it has to do with this being in there and all of the cables running out of it. So I think I'm going to donate this. I'm going to think about it throughout this video and I'm going to come back to this. So we'll be thinking about that while I uh, don't really want to address this pile of receipts. Do you guys know how professional I am and organized I am with my business receipts? Uh, Christian actually ordered me this file folder a while ago to organize them and what do I do? I just stab them onto actually I'm pretty sure yeah, this is a meat thermometer. <laughs> I found this in one of our moving bins or something and decided it was where the receipts are going to go. So I'm going to sort through this, pull out things that are not business receipts, and then hold on to the ones that are. Maybe organize them by month. I really need to put this in a spreadsheet for like tax purposes and stuff. I'm going to get started on this project today, do what I can, and not make it so impossible that I have to complete it today. I'm going to make progress, not perfection. And then probably honestly put the meter on there back in that drawer because last year I was not good at holding on to physical receipts for business expenses and I paid for that in taxes. So that works as a good system as like quick, easy, it goes straight onto that little uh, thermometer. It stays there and then hopefully when I find the time, like today, to go through and actually sort them out when that time comes. I don't think I made any sense in that last sentence, so I'm going to stop talking and start sorting receipts. I know it's nothing new. It's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight this table looking clean like this but it means so much to me that what's inside is organized too I have simplified everything in these cabinets I store my normal purse and my diaper bag down here I do some marketing stuff social media stuff for a coffee company so that's what that stuff is for like taking social media photos 
This is gonna be for my YouTube projects. So a little sneak peek coming your way. I have a whole box here of kitchen hardware. We're doing a full DIY kitchen makeover. And I'm also going to be doing some rub and buff um, on, what's it called? Picture frames. So I have that over there. So like my ongoing DIY projects are gonna be in there. Actually, I should declutter this box. I could minimize this. Hold please. Never ends. Let's be a more than friend. Okay, that is much better now. This cabinet saw major improvements. I have a whole empty shelf now, which I love, and then all of our puzzles and games are down there. This bottom drawer holds some hostess things. I have some uh, placemats and cloth napkins. I also have that receipt book, which was so easy and simplified, and it's going to make my life so much easier. And my favorite thing I did was actually clear out this drawer. I have this little organizer in here for a few things, along with some lighters for the candle I keep up here. And then the only other thing is my uh, receipt holder, which still is a system that works really great. It was just overdue for like the next step in the process. But like I said, I still love having this here to just come and drop any receipt that I have a business expense for and then deal with it later when I have the time for it. It has a home, it's not its final home, but at least I know that when I'm just tidying up quickly, I know where extra receipts will end up. Now onto the scarier side of the room. I don't know where exactly to start. Probably just with tidying the space and cleaning it to begin with. Here to stay every single day. Yeah. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two. definitely was not planning on doing this today but we're already here and I am a little bit nervous these shelves are gonna fall at any minute if you remember back to my dining room makeover video we installed these shelves painted them black and they looked awesome in our dining room but since we turned this into a playroom and my reading habit has grown exponentially um, these have just become cluttered and I'm a little bit nervous that they're not super stable they're screwed into the studs but I'm just not feeling it. It feels very cluttered in this room and I'm ready to take them down. I'm definitely going to need Christian's help to rip them out of the wall because they are in there tightly, like very, very, very hard to get off. So I think I'm going to just start taking all of these down. I think I don't even know how to do this. I'm about to get a major workout in because I think the only space that I can put these books right now is upstairs in our storage closet. So I'm going to be carrying all these books upstairs. Um, Maddie's also about to wake up any minute. So I better stop rambling and start moving on this project. And I guess I should also mention that like my end goal for this room is to end up having an actual like bookshelf in here for my books. And I don't know if I'm going to keep this toy shelf in here. I might move it up to Maddie's closet as storage in there and then do two bookshelves and like the bottom shelves are all of her toys and things and the rest are for my books. But I want something different for book storage that's not just attached to the wall. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I love to change things in my house all the time. So here we are, impromptu room makeover, declutter. I'm still adding things to my uh, decluttering bag as I'm going along through this project, and we'll see what we keep finding. I bet you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are If 
before I'm too invested I should probably ask ya Ask you all my questions Get to know you better We've got Maddie up from her nap. She's down there smiling at the camera. And we are done with this project. It was so much faster than I thought it would be. I already went over and spackled and painted where the holes were. I might need to do... Yes, ma'am. I might need to do another layer of the paint just to make it nice and even. But I'm glad these are down. Definitely a work in progress in this room now, but I at least have a blank slate to think in. That was the problem I think holding me up before is that I had those shelves up. The room was so cluttered and there was so much going on that it was hard for me to like think through what I could have wanted in that space instead. What is going on down here? You know we're trying to film a video. I actually cannot candle how cute she is 99% of the time. She's being so cute right now. So I'm gonna wrap up this little segment. This room feels very unfinished. So I'm gonna play around to reorganize it a little better, make it look a little more finished. I like this being vertical, but I don't love it being shoved in that corner, but I don't know if I want it in this corner. I don't know what to do with that yet. Maybe we'll move the couch over to that wall. I don't know. I'm gonna play around with that, figure that out. have no idea what to do in this room so drop any comments or suggestions you have down below i think maybe switching the bookshelf and the lamp it seems very heavy in that corner over there also this giant box is being thrown out soon that's the shattered mirror that came from world market but we have like this awkward empty space here so maybe the bookshelf should go against this wall i don't know i'm stumped leave me your suggestions down in the comments but i'm glad that we've decluttered this space a little bit even though i didn't declutter anything like get rid of it it's all upstairs that i need to go address later <laughs> During Maddie's next nap, I'm going to go upstairs to the storage closet and tackle that disaster. I have to be quiet. Maddie is napping right through that wall. And it's also awful lighting because I'm trying to keep it dark out here so it doesn't show light into her room. This whole thing for trying to respect baby naps. But I am in the storage closet and I think I'm ready to do some decluttering in here. Definitely need some organizing happening too. And I'm going to try to find homes for my book stuff in here. Although I don't think that's going to work. I have no idea where I would possibly put books in here. I don't want to get hurt cuz I'm not ready to give you my heart yet. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Now this is less than ideal for storing my books right now, but until I get a hold of some bookshelves to go downstairs or bookcases, I should say, I think this is probably the neatest way to store them while not just having them lay out in the house. So I need you guys to hold me accountable to not let this pile of books just sit in the storage closet. I need to actually find a bookshelf. I wanna find some on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I'll be sharing all about that process in the room makeover over on Instagram if you're not following over there. So definitely check out over there. I share like behind the scenes sneak peeks. I've been sharing like behind the scenes of this whole video live over there. So you're missing out if you're not on the Instagram. I am now officially sweating from running up and down the stairs so much. And I am looking into the updated playroom that's in the in-between phase and I am so excited. 
room makeover projects like fill my soul they make me happy they stress me out a little bit and it's a fun challenge um but that's gonna be it for this video i am rambling i've got my pile of stuff to declutter behind me i'm gonna do my goodwill run tomorrow i have some more stuff to do at home today or else i would just be eager to get it out of the house and out of my life already but that will be a tomorrow project stay tuned and subscribe for that playroom makeover library area like it definitely still needs to remain a playroom that's like the primary purpose of this space it's for madeline to move around to store her toys her books all of her things to play in but i also would love for it to be a little bit more mature the bright colors are definitely a lot for me i don't love it i know i have a baby i gotta get over that but if i can make it a little more grown up a little more sophisticated just a little bit and then also have more uh secure book storage bookcases or something that would be very, very good for me. I'd be very happy with that. But I'm gonna sign off the video here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for some cleaning motivation. It is fall time. I'm wearing a Halloween Town pullover. I have a ghost mug. Taylor Swift is playing on in the background. Actually, I'm going to turn on Hocus Pocus while I clean. I'm a genius. Um, I'm very excited for fall. I'm very excited for October. And I'm very excited to motivate myself and you guys hopefully to be cleaning up your house. I haven't shared one of these videos in quite some time. I've been focusing on room makeovers, decluttering, organizing, and not just good old fashioned deep cleaning, like the daily grime that we deal with as moms every single day. So this video I think will be a fall stay at home mom vibe clean with me. I hope you're gonna join me and uh, pick up your house along with me, or hopefully you're drinking coffee and enjoying nap time and sitting on the couch and relaxing. Whatever your flavor is, I hope you enjoy this video. And um, I've already filmed uh, about one day's worth of cleaning before this. And now I'm gonna get into a couple deeper cleaning projects so I'll play the first day of cleaning first I'll be wearing a different outfit but I'm then gonna hop into some more deep cleaning later on in the video so I hope you guys enjoy it give it a like subscribe if you're new here and let's get straight into the cleaning Besides the kitchen, this playroom is definitely the messiest spot in our house. There's a bunch of little toys all over the place, as it should be. And if you guys have been watching the last couple videos that I've been sharing, I have been struggling with this space. I took down some big shelves and reduced some of the clutter and decluttered in this space, but I'm still just playing around with the furniture, moving things around. Eventually, I want to put a bookcase in here because I have a whole pile of books stashed up in my storage closet now that don't have a home, but I have not figured out the right way for it to work in this room. So so I'm gonna take this project very slowly, and in today's video, I'm just gonna play around with this room a little bit more. I'm gonna go through Madeline's toys, do a little quick toy rotation, organize them, clean it up, and then also kind of take the room apart all over again. Once it's finally clean, I just take it all apart. That is life. But I'm gonna be trying to move the furniture around a little bit. I've been asking for your input on where you guys like the furniture in this room, and you guys shared a couple different options that I try, and this day I'm trying one of those options, and you'll see. I don't end up sticking with this first configuration of the room, but I was just happy to be playing around with it and trying something different in here. Now my last declutter video ended up with this giant pile of donations in our hallway, so I'm gonna be running these to my car and giving them off to Goodwill. Thankfully, it didn't sit here for very long. When I have a lot of donations that I really wanna get out of the house, I put it somewhere that I hate for them to just sit around. So this hallway is the perfect spot to stash them because I don't love this space being cluttered because it's narrow already. I didn't love the shelf being by itself in the corner by the window, so I'm moving it over here to the opposite wall, and then it ended up looking too cluttered over here, so don't worry, it's not gonna stay like this, but you'll have to wait till later in the video to see what I end up doing. I'll come back to this space after leaving it alone for a couple of days.
And that's a wrap on the first day of cleaning. Madeline was just not having me do anything else. So a new day, a new outfit, and we are covering the back half of the house. I'm starting on our kitchen table. I had just done the countertops for our kitchen. I'll link the video here where I completely made over our countertops with peel and stick paper. But normally those projects end up with a big mess elsewhere in the house. Anything in my way just gets moved out into a big pile and everything landed on the kitchen table this time. So it's well due for putting everything away, a deep cleaning, a good scrub, and just a good restart on this space. If you look closely, you probably caught a glimpse inside the desk drawer and it is so bad in here, guys. I'm working at the desk right now while I'm filming the voiceover for this video and I know I need to get in there. I should have cleaned it in this video, but it's a little bit daunting. So let me know in the comments if you're looking forward to some decluttering motivation soon. I think that might be my next video that I put out. I'm not sure, but I need to fix this drawer. It's a hot mess and I wanna share that motivation with you guys too. Just looking at you makes my whole world spin. to wake up yet oh, we can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV now I'm attacking the sofa with the Dyson trying to get as much of the dog care off of it as I can we have a large German Shepherd named Bucky you probably spotted him already a couple times in the video but you know I have a very light and white house and he is a black dog, so his fur is super noticeable and absolutely everywhere. I'm actually gonna revisit the couch in a few days and show a new way that I found to clean it. I love my upholstery cleaner, but I have been looking for a quicker solution to clean the couch or at least just spot clean it a little bit and I think I have just the trick to share with you guys later, so stay tuned for that. your favorite music on all the way baritone shut the lights go in front This might sound a little bit crazy, but since we had Madeline, I find that I am on top of the laundry so much more. Even though we have way more laundry, thankfully not as much as we did in the newborn days. Like we're past like the mass amounts of burp cloths and outfit changes all day long, but there's still extra laundry because of her. And I feel like I have such a better grasp on the laundry. I think it's because she's actually enjoying watching me do things around the house. So she loves to watch me in the laundry room. She plays with little doorstop that's like a little spring in there and then she also loves to watch me just fold laundry and she'll crawl around and hang out and get into my piles and whatnot. But I definitely was anticipating in motherhood to have a struggle with laundry. Like there's gonna be so much of it. It's always gonna be a pile of it. I'm never gonna be on top of it. But I found the opposite is true. Have any of you experienced that or am I like the weirdo who probably just hated doing laundry and avoided it like the plague before? But we're in the kitchen now. Gonna do a quick scrub down in here. If you haven't watched my kitchen DIY video, this is probably your first look at the new DIY countertops let me know if you think they look pretty realistic there's definitely some flaws and bubbles in them but I really like it I think I'm gonna keep it for a while I mentioned in that video I would let you guys know what I thought of it and I'm definitely on the fence most days like I see the imperfections and they definitely bother me but I also love how much brighter and whiter the kitchen is it reflects the light in the kitchen so much more and the space feels so much more me so for now they're staying one day that might change and of course we'll share that whole process with you guys and I'll also let you know if they come up easily or if that's a struggle or whatever because eventually we will be moving out of this house we have about a year left here in California which is crazy to think about I can't even like begin to wrap my head around that process coming up in a year but we do have to undo everything that I have done to DIY this house so that content will definitely be coming if you've been curious about how all of my DIY projects and little remodeling things have gone over in a renter situation but I am rambling now so I'm gonna stop talking and let you enjoy the music that I painstakingly picked out
There's no going back to your own life I'm Living in the past, we're all of that I'm feeling it tonight Riding on the dizzying high My local Target just recently put out the fall Mrs. Meyer scents, and I feel like they were super late to the game this year. Normally I thought they came out in like August or September, but I've been keeping my eye out and just recently spotted them. And I grabbed the new scent fall leaves in um, the dish soap, and then I think I grabbed acorn spice in the hand soap. I know I love the acorn spice scent, but the fall leaves scent as a dish soap is just weird. It smells like cologne, like it smells good, but it's weird that my dishes smell like that. So I'm a little torn on that. I was refilling all of the soap dispensers with that, which is what you saw. And also in our coat closet, I realized that we have like a shoe issue. We have so many of them. I'm already past that point in the video, but oh well, I wanna talk about it. We have so many shoes stuffed in this closet and a lot of the time during the day I am holding Maddie and it's hard for me to bend down while holding her. And so I end up just kicking the shoes in here. And so I just decluttered a few pairs out of there. I sent them upstairs because I wasn't sure if I was gonna get rid of them or not, but I knew that they could not live in this closet any longer. I was just tired of seeing them there. So off they went and thankfully it's been helping out a lot. I only have a couple pairs in here now and it's much more manageable and less cluttered. And while I was rambling about our shoe closet, we are back in the playroom. Sorry if you're tired of seeing this space. It's just been on my mind. Like it's not right. And I have a hard time with things in my house not looking right or at least not feeling right to me. And thankfully this day, I think I got it right in here. Let me know in the comments how many times I just said the word right. I'm going to stop saying that now, but I'm going to rearrange the furniture in here again. And I think it's going to work out best. It's still not completely in this room there's still more that I want to change there's always stuff that I want to change in my house but I'm actually happy with the configuration once I finish this little moment Always knew that you were stubborn But didn't know it'd be so hard To figure out who you really are I've been playing around with the configuration in this space and I just don't know what to do with it. I don't think this is the answer. I saw one of you guys address it in a comment and I like the idea of it under the window. It's just too big. So I think I'm gonna move it back somewhere. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing in here. And here is how the room turned out. It's a lot more minimal, which I like. So I'm very happy in there. And now moving on to another day of cleaning. I told you guys, many days of cleaning in this video. Um, with the baby, it makes it harder to just do it all. She's at the age where she wants to play and not just sit and watch me clean all the time. So a lot of my cleaning happens during nap times, which is what was happening this day. And I was motivated to clean this nasty couch. I just gave you a sneak peek of where Bucky, our dog, sleeps on this couch. Um, you can see the loving marks. He leaves behind the mud the grossness the ick and I had vacuumed at the top of the couch but I wanted to do a deep clean on this so I took all the cushions off and vacuumed them and I mentioned earlier that I do love my upholstery cleaner for cleaning the couch like deeply and getting in all of the cushions but I did not want to wait for that to fully dry and that whole process and it's just a big ordeal when I pull that out and I really wanted to just clean up this armrest and also the pillows that Bucky sleeps on so I pulled out my trusty bottle of Folex I think it's called it's a carpet or 
Hair Upholstery uh, Spot Remover or Stain Remover, and I use it all the time, and I'm like, why not just use it over a much larger surface area? So here I'm gonna use it to kind of saturate and coat the entire area I wanna clean, so the entire armchair, and then also the cushion that backs up next to this, and it worked so well, guys. It took maybe five minutes of lightly spraying and then scrubbing with a microfiber cloth, and it turned out completely clean, like as clean as the upholstery cleaner gets it, with way much effort and then no dry time. So if you're in a pinch for cleaning your couch, definitely go this way. If I was trying to clean the entire couch, it would take much, much longer. But if you're in a similar situation as I am with a dog or just one spot that gets kind of gnarly, a little bit of Folex on the armrest really can just revive it and save it and also not take very long. I just don't know what to do. It should have been you. Driving to your place, but now the crown is shaking. Could be a face, but it feels like it will never go away until we make up. Because Bucky's on this couch so much, it does get really fuzzy and pilled. And so I pulled out this little fabric shaver that I've had for a few years and tried it. And either it didn't work at all, or it took so long to work that it wasn't worth it. So I actually ended up giving up on this project and throwing away the fabric shaver. So, so much for that effort. I just don't know what to do Cause it should've been you It should've been you I could be wrapped around your arms Instead of being lonely It should've been you Now something bizarre happened this day. I actually had the whole house cleaned, like all of the toys were put up, the kitchen was clean, the dishes were good, the playroom was put away, and Maddie was still napping. So I wanted to take the time to do some extra deep cleaning and actually wipe down the windows, get all of the dog hair and slobber off of the windowsills from Bucky standing there watching birds all day long and all of that stuff. And I actually cleaned the front window too, but that did not show up on camera, so oh well. And after Maddie woke up from her nap, she was hanging out rolling around in her room and I decided to finish a project I kind of started in her nursery. I ordered from Amazon these really pretty little uh, drawer pulls. I'll link them down below. They're a little bit smaller than I anticipated. I probably could have gone with the bigger size that they sell on these, but I was ready to upgrade her like standard Ikea drawer pulls that I had originally on here. I did spray paint them gold to give them a little bit more life when I first uh, set up the whole dresser, but I was ready to upgrade it and I'm so happy with these little pulls. Like I said, it probably could have been a little bit of a bigger pull to have more of an impact, but I think it's a sweet little upgrade and a cute detail that adds more to her nursery. I 
recently hung up this mirror from World Market in our bedroom and we realized after it was up on the wall that it was just way too high. We originally wanted it to go above the outlets we had on this little strip of wall, but we realized it was unnecessary and the mirror was just awkward at that height. And so it's been on my to-do list to move it down a couple inches. And today I finally tackled that project. Um, I thought that I could do this by myself. Normally Christian helps me with these kind of like handyman projects, but he was downstairs and I was like, no, I can just drill into the wall. It's easy. And it was easy until I had to actually lift the mirror myself. I was not strong enough to lift the mirror onto the wall. So Christian came up to help me with that process. And um, we got it on the wall and realized that I hung it crooked. Yes, the second time I hung this mirror up, it was not correct. So you can see us looking at the level and I also realized I didn't have any more anchors to redo this. So until I go to Home Depot and buy anchors to move this mirror a second time, we're gonna just live with it a little bit crooked. I actually found some good camera angles that don't highlight how crooked it is. So you guys can actually appreciate how pretty this mirror is. But I'm gonna spackle in the holes from the previous hanging and then also add a really cute plant in the corner to uh, give it a little bit of life in this room. And that's the last thing we're doing in this video you can see Maddie in the reflection just hanging out probably eating my deodorant or something but that's gonna be it for this video thanks for hanging out I'll see you guys in the next one bye and I know that I said all these things but now when you're with her I can see that that you miss me when we wake hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Hey friends, welcome back. Today's video is all about getting organized for the new year, organizing my home, my life, all of that good stuff. Today's video is also partnered with Mint Mobile, so I'll share a little more on that later. But if you are ready for some decluttering, organizing, homemaking content, let's dig straight into it. And I'm gonna head over to my receipt drawer of horrors. It is, it's bad over there. You'll understand in a second. Found what we're looking for in life. So between YouTube, buying Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, all those things, we generally actually hold on to our receipts. I know that's not the norm for most families or most people, but we do that. And I actually just use an upside down meat thermometer. And normally I'm pretty good about stacking all of the receipts onto this meat thermometer as like a little uh, container for them all. But I have just been dumping them in this drawer and walking away and this drawer was looking really rough. So. I'm gonna tidy it up. I really should have gone through and sorted them out by month. I have a separate envelope where I store my business receipts and all of that, but I just needed to make this drawer better, not perfect. Progress, not perfection is what we go by on this channel. And we definitely accomplished that here in this drawer today. Side side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Now a few days had passed since I started this video and filming it for you guys. It's now after Christmas, so all the toys are now in our house. All of the good craziness is passing and it's time to get things under control. That's why this video was gonna be like a new year, get your house together, home reset video because I knew that my house was desperately going to be needing it. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are in the same boat as me. So I hope you are cleaning along with me during this video, organizing something or at least brainstorming a spot in your house you can tackle after you're watching this. I find it can be really motivating to save my favorite YouTubers to only be watching while I'm working on projects or cleaning or doing dishes or something. It makes a mundane task a little bit more exciting, um, kind of like how exciting these puzzles are for Madeline. A lot of her gifts weren't exactly perfect for her age range yet, so you'll see me taking some things upstairs or stashing them away. It's not because she's not like using them and loving them, it's because she just doesn't really understand them. Like those puzzles were fun, but all she wanted to do was pull off the pieces and try to eat them. And so until it's a more age appropriate time. I want to just stash them up in her closet later on. I'm also going to be rearranging her playroom a little bit. She got this little climbing triangle which she's a little bit petrified of. Like she's not really that interested in it but I've heard it's a great toy for kittens and babies and that it like grows with them. So we'll see if she shows interest in it. I think she might start climbing on the slide first but stay tuned. I'll let you know if it's worth it but it is pretty cute in the room. You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door
marathon KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food Whenever I switch out seasonal decor, mostly like Halloween or fall or Christmas decor, back to like the neutral any time of year decor, I always think I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. Let me try new pieces here and there. But I don't really love buying lots of home decor throughout the year. Like I feel like we've decorated this house pretty sufficiently. Our holiday decor collection is well-rounded. And so I'm not buying a lot of new stuff. And I think I'm gonna go and try new configurations of the stuff I already have. But I always end up with how things were styled before. So so this bowl had been here before, this candle and a little trivet was here before. Nothing's really changing in this room and just putting it back to how it was, even though I had it in my mind that I was like, gonna refresh this space and make it a little bit different and better, but oh well. Another big thing for getting the new year fresh is taking down all of our Christmas decor, of course. I love my Christmas decor, but every year December 26th comes and I am ready for it to go. And so this day I got all of it done. If you didn't watch my Christmas decor declutter video, I'll link it for you here and it might be worth watching at the end of the season but uh decluttering my Christmas decor simplifying it and just minimizing how much stuff we had made this year a breeze for decorating and taking everything down you'll see in this video it was really straightforward for me all of my decor fit on one table I put it all in the bins and then it went straight to the storage closet it was not a stressful process at all so if it's a stressful process for you maybe check out some of my decor organization videos to get some ideas to help you out I'm going to keep up the cleaning, decluttering, simplifying in the family room by clearing off the entryway table, the entryway table, this is not an entryway table, the entertainment table, entertainment stand? I don't know. It's pretty late when I'm recording this voiceover, guys. Sorry if I'm a little incoherent at times, but clearing this off, cleaning it, decluttering, simplifying, Christmas decor being put away. You think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about you What things you like and what you don't Now this ornament organizer is a total game changer when it comes to Christmas decor storage. I can store all of our things in here safely, know they're not gonna break, and then also feel good that it's all contained in a pretty small container. I think we have a good number of ornaments and this tiny container, which fits inside of my main Christmas bin, holds all of them. So I feel really good about this. I don't know if this exact one is still in stock, but anything similar to this with the little slots and dividers inside of it will definitely make your ornament collection storage a breeze before I'm too invested I should probably ask you ask you all my questions get to know you better Now, I've already said this, and I'm probably not original in any sort of way by saying this, but I love when the home is decorated for Christmas because it feels so cozy. I think we're always adding more decor to our normal collection when it's the holidays. Like, I'm not normally swapping one for one every little decor item out, so it's definitely a little bit cozier, 
our house is fuller, there's more stuff. So it's cozy in the season, but it also feels so good to start the new year off by having your house feel like there's a little bit of extra breathing room in it. Like this room feels so much bigger and more spacious now that the Christmas tree is gone. Like I loved it when it was in there and the cozy lights made like the atmosphere super great. But you'll see in a little bit, I'm gonna pull our olive tree over to where the Christmas tree used to be. And it's just gonna feel nice and light and airy, which is exactly how I like my home to feel going into the new year. Now, don't be fooled, this side of the room looks great, but the other side of the house is a hot mess. I did want to put all of our decor in one spot before I packed it up. In my brain, that just made sense. Rather than just going back and forth between all the Christmas bins, I was going to put it all on the table and then put everything from the table into the bins. So I'm going to collect the last of the Christmas decor that is downstairs, which is the garland in our kitchen, a couple little trinkets on the uh, stand in the kitchen, and then also our mugs. And then I'm going to head over to the table once again and start packing everything together. How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up. Just hold on tight. It'll be alright. All your life you've tried. Be a good man inside Did everything that you thought you should Didn't seem to do you any good Now this is my last video for the year of 2022 and I just want to take a moment to thank you guys all for watching my videos, the comments, liking, engaging. I am so, so lucky to have a channel like this with a community of you guys, almost 50,000 of you, which is so mind-boggling. I can't wrap my head around the idea of 50,000 people being subscribed to this channel and watching it, and I'm just really thankful for you guys. So I hope you've had a great year. I hope the holidays were special and meaningful. I hope it was joyful for you guys, and I want you to know that I'm here if you ever have any prayer requests or anything to reach out or talk about. My Instagram DMs are open, and I would love to hear from you or get to know you better. I'm just really thankful for you guys, and this time of year always reminds me of how lucky we are and how lucky I am in this life. So just wanted to have a little sappy moment at the end of the year, my last video of this year, and just be really grateful for you guys. So enough sappy talk, we're gonna get back to the video. I'm finally packing up this tote, and I do have to go upstairs and get more decor later, but I am doing all of this filming while Natalie Madeline. I can't even say my baby's name. Well, Madeline was napping. I was doing all this filming, so I was gonna wait for her to wake up, then Christian would watch her while I finished cleaning upstairs. I'm now on to my third outfit of the video, but this is the same day that I was doing the bulk of the filming. We actually went on a nice little hike with Madeline. Christian got one of these fancy like hiking backpacks for her to rest in and she loves it. She was totally chilling. She was so happy on like the 20 minute car ride there. We did about two miles, but it was kind of rocky. So I think we probably spent like 45 minutes, maybe an hour out on the trail and she was happy as can be in there but i changed into more appropriate hiking attire for that even though uh most people are having a snowy christmas it's 
blazing hot here in California. It was almost 80 degrees on Christmas day for us, which is pretty crazy. So I needed something more appropriate for hiking. So same day, different outfit. And now we are cleaning the kitchen. I'm sure if you saw when I took the Christmas decor down, you were like, Allison, please clean in here. It's a mess. Trust me. I knew, I know it's bad. And we're going to fix it right here though. You're far away and yet so close. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, you're up in space. You're inside the noise. I can feel you. Mm. Once you've seen all the things, all the places, I hope it means that you come home to me. If you can see the giant globs on Madeline's uh, high chair tray, that is her breakfast of oatmeal that she wanted nothing to do with. So really gross. Uh, we'll get to it eventually. Sometimes babies can just be picky and change their mind. I fed her this breakfast like for weeks and weeks in a row and I switched like the last week making her eggs. And now I think she's like gonna only accept eggs in the morning. So oatmeal was a no-go for her this morning and now it's being scraped on the garbage disposal. You might remember that I used to roll all of our dish towels and microfiber cloths. Um, Madeline learned how to open drawers and she loves pulling things out of drawers. So we just throw them now inside that drawer because they're all gonna be pulled out by her anyway. So uh, one less chore for me to do. Now I'm gonna wipe down things in the kitchen a little bit, restyle this tray. I love having this little moment in the tray moment in the tray. Guys, words. I love having this little tray in the kitchen because it's a cute way to feature like seasonal decor, but sometimes it can be challenging when like there's not a specific holiday to decorate for. So I went neutral. These are actually florals from fall. So maybe I'll find something a little more spring-like and uh, <laughs> you guys might not find this very funny, but we got a Roomba for Christmas and we are so obsessed and you're supposed to name your Roomba. So we decided to name our Roomba Phyllis from the office and we felt like she deserved having her picture on the Roomba too. My parents actually did that with their Roomba. They named her Alice from the Brady Bunch, but uh, sadly Madeline uh, discovered she could pull the Phyllis photo off of the Roomba, so we need to work on something a little more secure. But you don't know what I've been going through. This is when you tell me that you're different. When you try to make me fall, convince me it's true. Christian was watching Madeline, so I was able to sneak into her nursery and clean up in here. Look at this little teddy bear jacket she got for Christmas. So cute. But I'm pulling down just the few decor pieces she had in there. I definitely am gonna DIY a new garland to hang up in her room year round because I loved having the little banner in there. And uh gonna start cleaning up the pile of stuff that I've accumulated now in our landing zone. Everything that was stacked on the stairs came here, all the Christmas decor came here, a lot of wrapping paper that needs to be put away. I'm also gonna be going in the storage closet and organizing that and just pressing the reset button on the upstairs of this house and getting us ready to start the new year with a clean slate. You remember the flame. Oh, if you spotted any dogs in this video that are not Bucky or German Shepherd, they're my brother-in-law's dogs that we were watching over Christmas break for them while they were traveling for the holidays. So not our dogs. We didn't get any dogs for Christmas. This house is not big enough to accommodate any more than Bucky, even though I would love more dogs in the future, but that's explaining the random dogs you might be seeing in the background. Remember the 
With the storage closet pulled back together, all that's left to do is put the Christmas bins back where they belong until we get them out next year. And that's gonna be it for this video. The house has been reset, it's been organized. I hope you were cleaning along with me. And once again, thanks for hanging around for this crazy year of 2022. I wouldn't have this YouTube channel if it wasn't for you guys watching. So I'll see you guys next year. Bye. Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Allison if you're new here and today I'm sharing some new year bathroom decluttering, organizing, cleaning, just a deep dive into our master bathroom. It's a tiny space but we cram a lot into it. I'll actually share a video here where I did my first huge declutter in this space. Our cabinets were not this organized to begin with and it's kind of sloppy for me now but if you need some extra motivation I'll share that video here. This is kind of a maintenance declutter, a maintenance clean, just trying to keep up with the systems that I have in place because I love the system. I'll link all of my organizers down below, but first I'm just going to go through each cabinet, pull everything out, do a once over declutter. Like I've said, I've already really deeply decluttered these spaces. So there's not a ton for me to get rid of, but I'm always just combing through things, refining my spaces, making sure it stays neat and pulled together. And there's a couple things that I find here that I'm pulling out and going to be tossing. You set my wheels in motion. I'm going crazy for If you've been following for a while, you know I have my makeup collection really simplified. I used to have one of those giant IKEA desk drawers, like the three foot tall dividers and had it full to the brim of makeup. I have simplified it down to just this one makeup caddy. And like I said, I'm always going through combing through layers and getting rid of things that just do not work for me anymore. I cannot stand a cluttered space, a non-functional space. So this makeup caddy being simplified for me is essential. So I'm going through reorganizing it, pulling out all of my lipsticks. I never wear lipstick. I I just they just go bad in my makeup caddy so those have been in there for years at this point unused so I took those out I wiped out the other bottom side um, I found a dead bug in there if you spotted that but my pride and joy is that I finally hit pan on my bronzer you can see that tiny little speck of silver poking through I'm working my way through my collection loving what I have but also making sure I'm not holding on to excess I don't love excess it's just clutter and makes it harder for me to get ready in the morning I can hear my Next up for this space is some much, much needed baby proofing happening in here. Also, don't worry if you're here for organizing and decluttering. The really bad cabinet is the one on the left side. I wanted to start on something that was easy for me to tackle and super satisfying, which is my side of the bathroom. It's 
very clean and tidy in here most of the time, so I wanted to start with an easy win. But back to the baby proofing, every morning our little morning routine typically ends with us back upstairs getting ready for the day, like after breakfast time and all of that, Madeline comes up, she putters around our bedroom while I get ready for the day and make our bed and just pulls everything out of every drawer. And there are some things in here that she probably should not be getting into. Um, the little beads in my makeup caddy are not good for her to be eating, uh, razor blades, all those kinds of things. So it was just time for this cabinet to become off limits. So I found these little drawer pressure point thingies. I'll show you a closer look at them um, in a little bit once I get them installed on all the doors. But basically you just stick them on like command hooks and then you can open the door about an inch wide. Your finger can reach down and press down the lever and open it open and open it open, words. Guys, I'm recording this pretty late after a long day and you can probably hear that in my voiceover, but you can just push it down and then open the drawer. I'll show them closer later on. But moving on, I'm gonna clean up the top of the vanity a little bit. It was getting pretty crowded and I knew that things were only gonna get much, much worse once I went into this drawer. Honestly, this drawer's just got a lot of trash in it, so that needs to be taken care of and just things have ended up not where they belong. Where's your irony? Just smile, why? Cause I got everything I need, but not what I wanted. Cause I just wanted you. And if I could, I'd leave the city too. I don't blame you. And I should call you, see what you've been up to. I've been wondering how far did you go in seven months? This target bag is my trash bag, and that's the bulk of what we're doing here, just pulling out and throwing away empty packaging and things I don't need. I don't think I actually decluttered anything like useful here, like everything I kept, but it was just packaging and trash and just organization problems that managed here. And it's kind of crazy to me that just that much packaging can take up so much space and make an organized space disorganized very, very quickly. So organizing this, tidying it up, pulling it back together. Like I mentioned, that first declutter video shows like in-depth, deep, deep organization and decluttering and like my systems for all of this but just the general overview the cabinet I'm working on right now the top is all like medicines uh, Tylenol Dayquil there's a wrist sprain or uh, what's it called an ankle brace there's one of those in there for some reason the bottom shelf is all pads and tampons the other cabinet the bottom shelf is all of our backup products so deodorants hair products razor blades all of that and then I think that also continues to the top of it oh we have Christian's like electric razor and stuff on the top of that cabinet but they all make sense they're all categorized and it makes it very very straightforward for both Christian and me to use this cabinet that's one thing I will say is uh, make sure your husband or partner understands your systems it's much easier to maintain the organization if everybody using the space understands it clearly I'm also adding some of these little uh what are they called baby locks on this uh, cabinet too. We are renters and I'm a little bit nervous about how easily these will peel off uh, when we move. So uh, stay tuned on that process. I'm actually gonna have a lot of DIYs to be undoing when we move. So these will probably be the least of my worries, but I don't wanna make any promises about these being renter friendly or renter safe. I just found them on Amazon and rolling the dice on these. Don't call me just cause you're lonely. Maybe I'm not I think about it way too much And every single thought Is making me Making me Give me something Straight from your heart All this insecurity Is tearing me apart You're making me You're making me sleepless This declutter was much needed because I thought I was out of replacement razor blades and I was gonna go buy some more and these things are not cheap, like 20 bucks for like four of them. So I was very happy that I found that I actually had three of them. So that's a win. Don't call me just 
Now the next project I'm starting on is uh, filling up, <laughs> it's really extra when I say it like this, but I'm filling up uh, my special bottles that I keep in the shower. I got really fed up when Christian and I first moved in that we kept having bottles falling onto the shower floor, like the, like the big clang you hear when any bottle gets knocked over in the shower. We have like a very awkwardly shaped shower and like we have a lot of products, well not a lot, like we have our own shampoos, our own body washes, and then I have conditioner and then that's it. So five different bottles, but we only have spots for like four of them. So my solution was to buy these bottles off of Amazon by matching labels. So yes, they're very aesthetically pretty and like very pleasing to look at. But the main thing for me was that they were like very narrow bottles that fit on our shelves well. So things stopped falling down to the bottom of our showers. So whenever we buy new products, I have to pump them or dump them into these bottles. <laughs> and you can see here, it can become a little bit messy. I do my best to not waste product, but it's kind Kind of just par for the course when you're doing this and I don't know I'm just filling up bottles here All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have let's hold on tight found what we're looking for in life call us crazy but things are finally right with you and I the few Now I'm picking up this project on another day so I have a little more tidying to do before we can get to the deep cleaning in the bathroom. I'm going to be wiping down the vanities, cleaning the mirrors, um, what else? Organizing some jewelry. I got some really pretty jewelry for Christmas from basically everybody. My mom, my mother-in-law, Christian, and so I wanted to go through that, kind of sort through the packaging, make sure nothing got accidentally thrown away. Like I wanted to save the boxes and all that good stuff. I also bought a new bottle of shampoo because I realized I was out of that and running low so I'm filling that guy up and it got very very messy and then we're also going to be going into our little uh what do you call it the water closet it has our toilet and our shower in there it's like behind another door connected to this room and then I'm going to be doing a deep clean on our toilet and the shower so more deep cleaning coming soon I really hope I'm not grossing you out by this really up close look at my sink. Guys, I hate cleaning bathrooms so much that I normally am only cleaning them when I film it. It's kind of like motivation. Like if I know I'm doing a bathroom declutter or cleaning video, I know I have to clean it in the video. So like it motivates me to do it. But then I also, I just hate it guys. It's my least favorite room to clean in the entire house. I would rather do anything than clean bathrooms. So let me know down in the comments what's your least favorite spot to clean in the house. And uh, maybe in this new year, you and me together can do a better job of not letting it get so gross that it's like even more miserable to clean. Day I die. 
this little water closet needed a lot of TLC too. We needed to put the, uh, what's it called, toilet paper on the ring. Uh, the trash got taken out, but then a new bag was never put in, so that needs to be taken care of. We need to scrub the whole toilet, and I'm definitely going to be dusting first. I actually just grabbed a tissue and dusted it, the toilet first. That way you're not just pushing around wet dust with these Clorox wipes. That's like one of my biggest pet peeves while cleaning. So take the time, do a little dusting first, and it'll make it a lot easier to wipe everything down. I'm also going to be doing a scrub with my favorite toilet brush, which is the, uh, what are they, Clorox toilet wands. They're not flushable, but they're disposable, like one-time use items. I actually just bought a like replenish for my stash. I have one in each bathroom in this house, and uh, we were running low in all of them. So I got a new stash from Amazon to refill that up with and just finish cleaning up this space. Moving on to the shower, I also hate cleaning the shower, guys. I don't mean to complain so much about cleaning. I feel blessed to have this home, to have a place to clean and a family to keep it clean for. I truly am grateful, but <laughs> nothing ruins my day more than knowing it's time to clean the bathroom. And the shower is just tricky. There's lots of grooves and ridges and edges, and I always struggle with how to do it and I'm experimenting with different ways. And I recently tried this in Madeline's bathroom before we had guests over and I just needed a quick wipe down. I picked up whatever random spray I was using not like a bathroom spray or anything but just spray it around the edge anything where dust collects or hair or it might just be a little bit grimy clean up around the drain and the, all of like the main parts on the floor and it actually does a very good job a lot less labor intensive than like the ways I was trying before and overall pretty pleased with that but that's the last thing I'm doing in our master bath thanks for following along on this short motivating video and I'll see you guys next time bye been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five Hey friends, my name is Allison if you're new here and welcome back if you're not new here. Today I'm sharing a two room transformation. We are starting off in Madeline's nursery. Also, sorry if you can hear my uh, nasally voice a little bit. I'm getting over a cold, which is also why this video is a little bit late on the upload schedule. Thanks for being patient, but first thing we're doing up in Madeline's room is doing a lot of decluttering and organizing in her closet. We keep a lot of things stored up here and so I'm gonna start by just pulling most of it out. Um, a lot of this stuff is just baby things like newborn things that she's grown out of but we hope to have more babies in the future so I don't want to declutter it all like get rid of it but I'd love to organize it simplify it uh, make it take up less space than it already does we also have some camping sheets and an extra mattress in here and just a lot of junk that's just spilling out of here and so clearing the space out kind of starting from scratch I'm also going to be going through her clothing getting things that are no longer fitting her anymore and just make the space a more functional area It's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two. Hey, darling, you know we're gonna have a really good time driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright. Pack our bags and get in that car. Real far. Let's get out. We can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday.
This wood beam is part of her crib. It'll help her transition to like a big girl bed if we choose to do that. I'm not thinking about that. She's gonna be turning one tomorrow as of me recording this voiceover and I cannot handle that. I think I'm gonna be doing a little party prep video. I have some balloons, a cake, nothing too crazy, but just enough that I wanna be able to remember it and share it with you guys. So make sure you're subscribed to catch that video. And now moving over to this pile um, of just baby items. Like I said, there's a lot of newborn things here, like their bath seats, the bouncers, pack and plays, all of this stuff. And I have to keep this if I wanna use it for future babies, but I'm gonna consolidate it pretty successfully, I think. I'm actually pretty proud of how well this condensed down. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life on one? Now we are just playing Tetris or Jenga, whatever you want to call it, in her closet, stacking all of this up there. Um, I'm actually going to be tearing all of this out, so uh, stay tuned. It looks really messy here, and I didn't love it as I was putting it in. And uh, don't worry, I have a much better solution coming up because I forgot that I had two giant bins on the other side of her closet. Also, side note, I hate these like double sliding doors in her closet. I hate that you like can only see one half of the closet at the time. And if we were not renting this house, I definitely think I would either entirely remove them or replace them with like more like French door folding door situations I don't know these sliding doors are not it for me I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down The black and yellow Tupperware is from Costco, and I'm actually going to slide this into the bottom of this corner. Um, it has just more postpartum stuff, pregnancy things. I've organized this a couple of times in other videos, and uh, it is jam-packed as you can see, but it offered a really good flat base to stack everything else in, and it actually like looks pretty good in there now. And since that bin is moved out, I now have clear space under that part of her closet, and it just looks a lot less cluttered and a lot more open. I'm pulling down these wicker baskets that actually came from our downstairs playroom. I'll link a video here where I actually worked on that space and pulled these out of there. Madeline has a ton of toys, like more toys than I can even understand, but I feel weird about getting rid of any of them. Like I said, future babies might use them. She might want them. I don't know, but it's a lot to have all at once and all accessible to her because she can pull these out and then just dump them everywhere. So I'm going to end up putting these in the top of her closet just so they're out of reach, but also so I can get to them. Um, a couple of them are going to have a lot of books and then there's just going to be a lot of toys. It's our way, we're 66 and we keep on driving We just do what we wanna do, yeah No, nothing's complicated with you
Now, of course, as one room slowly looks better, another area looks way worse. I was throwing all of my trash donations out into this uh, landing zone and it was time to address that. I'm gonna be moving our sheets that we use for camping, they're like thicker flannel sheets, into our linen closet. And to be honest, guys, I don't have a good home for our big duvet that we also use. It's just big. I probably should get one of those space saver bags for it, but uh, for now, I'm just gonna toss it into actually that storage closet right here. Um, Fair warning guys, I'm not sure I actually finished cleaning this space up here. Uh, I think I was solo parenting it tonight, Christian had to stay late at work, and I was not up to finishing this entire project with Madeline in tow. So I think I actually finished cleaning this space off camera, so don't be confused if you suddenly see us just leave this space before it's fully clean. Sometimes uh, that's just real life. Driving, we just do what we wanna do. Another day, Christian's watching Maddie downstairs and I can finish up in her room. I wanted to go through her dresser. Uh, cleaning and organizing her room is a challenge now because normally I can do my organizing while she naps, but she naps in here. So I need to figure out a different way or someone has to be watching her during this process. So first I'm just gonna be cleaning up kind of the leftover messes from our closet decluttering part and then wiping down her dresser and then digging into the drawers. A lot of things are just uh, like clothes she's grown out of that are falling out of these drawers and just way overstuffing this space and I finally bought another bin from Target. I love these bins like don't get me wrong the Costco bins are great but they are huge and not see-through and these Target bins are only eight dollars I think and they hold a bunch. So here this bottom drawer is everything that she's grown out of and I had high hopes of folding things nicely organizing it by size but uh, you'll see by the end of me filling this bucket I'm just gonna dump all of this in here. I will go through it later when we need it if we need it and uh, that's that. Even though I wanted to I should be trying something new But now my body's aching I'm tired of dwelling in the dark It's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it would cost me When I let you go I feel alone And I'm just singing mm, mm, mm. It should have been you Another time, another place I just know Praise the Lord, we are finally out of the reflux vomiting stage of babyhood. At least I'm pretty sure we are. We haven't had a lot of vomiting uh, recently, and so I'm also putting all of her burp cloths away. And uh, if you watched any of my videos, I've probably talked about it. I think I've talked about it more on my Instagram, maybe. I have that all linked down below if you want to follow me over there. But uh, Maddie had some pretty rough reflux, so we were vomiting after every single feed, and burp cloths were a very important part of our everyday life, so it feels kind of weird to put those away and not need them taking up space in our drawers but we are at that point at the one year mark finally drawer is where I'm storing everything for her next size up. We actually don't have that much stuff for her next size up. We're like at the point where we don't have a lot of clothes that were gifted to us from her baby showers. Like people really don't give anything really above 12 months or at least we didn't get any of that. And so it's just things that I've been picking up, things grandmas have been buying for her. So not too many items, but probably gonna have to go shopping for her again soon. But organizing, clearing out this drawer, and then you'll see that this side of the dresser is like basically empty. The middle drawer has some blankets and swaddles or like sleep sacks and now that bottom drawer is completely cleared out.
is real. Moving on to the playroom, I am doing something that was very impulsive. Christian was gone again this night and I was just itching to do some DIY projects. And this room has just baffled me. I have done a bunch of different things to this room, DIY projects, and just none of it has looked good to me. Like I never finish any project in here. I'm like, oh wow, that's the direction I wanna take this room. I like that. And so today I thought, why not try something else? What do I have to lose at this point? Like it's just gonna be some paint on the wall. I can fix it if I hate it. And so this is pretty late at night. You can see Madeline running around with me and I'm gonna be taping off half of this wall. I'm using a level to try to make it as straight as possible. You'll see that it's a little bit challenging to do this with Madeline. I'm gonna have to finish this project once she goes down. So stay tuned for some cute baby videos while I try to paint a wall with a baby. But I've seen on Instagram a bunch of really cute playrooms that have this fun half painted wall, like no trim, no edging, nothing else, like a chair rail or anything. They just paint half the wall and it looks adorable. And so it sounded weird to me, but I thought, well, let's just try it. So I painted out the top half of this wall, brought a drop cloth in, and I'm grabbing the color Tornado Watch by Valspar. It's sold at Lowe's, and it's the color that I painted the arch above our guest bed. So it's paint that we already had. I didn't have to buy anything for this little project. So I really thought there was nothing to lose here. And uh, the only bad part about this project is I had a tiny little baby running around and paint and babies don't really mix. So you'll see here that I'll have to stop the project because Maddie was getting a little too interested in all the work. This is rare, and I want to take you there. If I'm going to love somebody, I just want to love you. If I'm going to love somebody, I just want to love you. If I'm going to love somebody, I just want to love you. I was keeping the paint towards the top of the wall where she couldn't reach, but I still wanted to keep her away from the outlet that I removed the plate from. And so I put up our little nugget couch and she's a very stubborn, very strong-willed little girl and uh, pushed her way straight through. Don't worry, she was totally fine here. She didn't cry or anything. But uh, I took this as a sign that I should just stop for the night, wait till she goes to back to sleep and then resume the project. So that is what we went ahead and did. You'll see that Bucky came and joined me for this process. He is always my partner in crime for these DIYs. Wise. He's gonna go find a toy or something and then get cozy in the same room that I'm working on. I don't need nobody else. I got you and you got me too. You can ride all the blue. I wanna do what you want to. We can leave and run away I decided to go ahead and paint the baseboard the same color, and so I'm gonna be taping down along the wall here. Thankfully, our floors have a little bit of separation between like the floor and the baseboard, so I was able to kind of just wiggle the tape underneath that baseboard and have a really clean line underneath it. Definitely try to do this if you are going to be painting your baseboards. Also, I'm a big fan of painting your baseboards the same color. It's a really fun accent and like makes the wall pop way more.
one more thing you guys might be noticing is that I'm painting this entire wall with just a simple paintbrush. Uh, it would be a lot faster, probably a lot easier, more time efficient uh, if I just used a roller, but I didn't have one. And also when I'm doing smaller projects like this, uh, I am cheap. <laughs> just gonna be honest with you, a lot of my projects are on a budget. Like this one, I had everything on hand. And so even if I wanted to use a paint roller, I probably would not have gone out to buy one just to use it on this. It can be expensive and add up. And that's like a lot of the little ways you can save money on these projects is buying things that are reusable and taking good care of them. Like this paintbrush, I think is four or six dollars. It's my all time favorite one. I've actually had to repurchase it before, but I make sure to wash it. I take care of it really well and it holds up through many, many, many projects. I think you probably can wash paint rollers, but I know that they definitely have like an expiration date. Like they will get fuzzy. The fuzz will come off onto the paint. Like they're not indestructible. Whereas I like to buy things that will last me for many projects as long as I'm using them for and uh, save us some money on the overall cost of these projects. Reel me in to get it going, open me up Sweet talking like you mean it, but you're making it so complicated I fucking hate it Every time I get too close, you push me away Don't wanna stick, telling me you don't want any obligations And how you hate them Don't call me just cause you're lonely Maybe I'm not. I think about it way too much, and every single thought is making me. Bucky was needing some love at this point and brought me a toy. Kind of dangerous game to play in a room with paint. And uh, yes, Bucky has gotten paint on him before throughout all these projects. Normally, it's just a little bit on his fur when he brushes up against something. He listens and is really well trained, so we can normally do these projects without worrying about him like getting into the mess too much. But uh, he's pretty cute. I don't wanna be a 4 a.m. I'm suffocating just by waiting on you. So don't call me just cause you're lonely. Here is what it looks like with the first coat of paint on it. I am going to use a little YouTube magic here and just apply the second coat of paint and then remove all of the tape. I definitely should have done the trick where you paint the wall color first, like you put the tape down and then you paint the wall color. Because we have textured walls, a little bit of the green paint was able to seep underneath it so it's not a perfect clean straight line. If you paint the like base wall color over it, that will leak into like the spots where the uh, uneven surface is. And then you can paint the like green color on top of that and it looks better. But uh, oh well, it'll be fine. I'm not gonna be too upset about it or really go back and fix it. It's not that noticeable. I'm also gonna put back the wall plates on the room and then also do a little bit of a tidy up.
I really love this accent wall. If I was buying a specific paint color just for this project, I might have gone with a little bit of a lighter green tone, um, but I, I'm very happy with this. For zero dollars, it's a fun addition to this room, and now I'm motivated to put some artwork on this wall and kind of finish this space off. Let me know what you think of it down below in the comments, and thanks again for hanging out. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe, and then everybody, please like this video. It helps out in YouTube more than you understand, and that's gonna be it for me. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video has so much going on, tons of decluttering and organizing. That's actually the majority of what we're doing. A bit of deep cleaning in there, but I have so many projects on my to-do list that I've been putting off and finally was getting to this day. We're gonna be working on the desk, completely redoing that, decluttering so much out of there. There was so much junk in the desk. We're gonna move into the kitchen. We're gonna be decluttering and reorganizing a bunch of different cabinets. Maddie can reach a bunch of new things and like open different drawers, so we have to rework all of that. We're also going to be organizing in the downstairs coat closet, upstairs in the bedroom. We're going to be cleaning in there and also organizing in the closet. I decluttered the front entryway table. Like there is just so much jam-packed in today's video. So if you need some cleaning, decluttering motivation, this is the one for you. It's also a nice long video. So buckle up, strap in, clean along with me or sit back and enjoy a coffee while you watch while we get started with the desk. The main problem that I had with the desk is that it's pretty small and I have a lot of office supplies and it just was too much stuff to fit into too small of a space. So the minimal mom always talks about like, you don't have an organizing problem, you have like a quantity of stuff problem. So I realized that I needed to just declutter this space in order to make it work. I had too much stuff I was trying to store in here and that is what we are doing. First, I'm cleaning off the top of it. I'm putting away some extra doggy bags I ordered from Amazon. We store those in our laundry closet. And then I'm also heading back to the desk to just clear it off, throw it out the trash, and then you'll see the real mess happens inside this big drawer and we're gonna just completely clear it out. It's gonna look so much better. Searching for my eyes. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. I think this drawer being overwhelming is why the top of the desk gets so messy. I know that I should be storing things in this drawer. It's like the purpose. I can just close it and put it away, but it's just so messy in here that I end up like filling the space up and then just stacking things on top of the desk. And it's just a hot mess. And like I said before, like there's just too much stuff in here. So I'm actually gonna just clear out this entire space, bring all of it out, and then only leave behind what's absolutely necessary. I am not letting this become a storage space or like a just in case junk drawer. Any Anything that like we want to hold on to but I might not use on the daily basis or at the desk is going to be moving upstairs into the storage closet. I'm going to be really ruthless and really pare this down to only things that I use on a near daily basis just to make this space manageable because it was a disaster and it has always been a disaster in this home. You can ride all the blue. I want to do what you want to we can leave and run away someday, someday.
These frosted bins are from Target's new Brightroom collection. I really like them. Um, I like them better than the white ones they sell, although if you're looking for a more like budget-friendly option, I know Target has those white, kind of flexible-looking containers in this size, and I'm pretty sure it's like two of them for $1, and they have smaller sizes that are like three or four for $1. I think these ended up being like one or two dollars total, or like one or two dollars each, so if you're looking for a more budget option, they definitely have that, but I like was willing to pay a little bit more to have a nicer like frosted look. I couldn't think of a better way to organize all of these cables in the middle, so honestly just having them have their own space, like in the middle where nothing else is being stored, is my best solution for that. I have Christian and I's planners and notebooks on the left side, all the cables in the middle, and then those three containers on the side. One more thing I'm going to be doing to this space to kind of baby proof it, but also make it look a little bit nicer, is hide our big power strips and all the cables we have underneath this inside of this cable box. This came from Amazon, and I really, really like it. The lid kind of snaps on there a little bit securely so it at least would be a little bit challenging for Madeline to open it. Uh, we normally just keep the chair in front of the desk and she stays away from this space but she's been a little more adventurous lately so I felt better knowing that most of the cables were kind of tucked away or at least a little less tempting for her to get into. This was such a weight lifted off my shoulders to have it done and Christian was dying for me to organize this. It just was not working for us and it's thankfully been so much better. A lot of the times I do organizing projects and videos and they just don't work out. Like I organize it in the video, it looks great and it gets messy right after. But it's been over a week since I did that project with the desk and it has held up great. We haven't been collecting junk in here. It's been so nice. And the next spot that I'm gonna be decluttering is in our kitchen. We have this really big corner cabinet. I know lots of people hate corner cabinets Cabinets. This one's actually been pretty great for us and it's been pretty empty the entire time we've been in this house But slowly with Madeline starting to eat solid foods and all of that stuff. We have more and more things accumulating here It's also become the cabinet where I throw anything that's like dangerous that Madeline can get into So I have some tongs and grilling things that were sharp I have some pot holders that she was biting chunks out of it was kind of just where I put things that Madeline couldn't have And it was time for them to get organized and kind of have a little bit of a home so I'm gonna just completely empty this space out and one thing I'm also going to be doing in here is trying out a new way to store our Tupperwares so we have these like really basic uh, red lidded Tupperwares that we've had for years they've worked great and I've heard people say that they love storing the lids with the bottoms like have them together fully assembled like don't just store the lids together and then the bases together so I'm trying that out in this video we haven't had a problem really misplacing these so I'll see if it helps I'm not too sure about it <laughs> I also have this bin of Madeline's things that we stored up here that I'm going to be moving down to one of our drawers. A lot of rearranging is going to be happening. I'm just going to stop talking now and just let you see how it all unfolds because it's probably just easier to watch. I 
I'm putting some hostess ware, some big platters, and then also like a cake dome on the top shelf. The second shelf, I'm gonna do all of our Tupperwares. This is where I question the like storing the lids with the bases method. It totally makes sense if it helps you not lose like either part, but we don't have a problem with that. And now the Tupperwares that we have take up way more space than they did before. So that entire shelf now is a little bit more crowded. And then this bottom shelf, I'm gonna be doing all of our plastic bags, our little Ziplocs, and then also our tin foil and uh, saran wrap kind of stuff. We had that in the pantry, but Madeline was getting into it, so it got moved. I'm also moving all of Madeline's cups and bowls and plates into one of these bottom drawers. I used to keep all of our Ziploc bags here, but Madeline was having way too much fun pulling all of them out. And so I'm gonna put something that I don't mind if she plays with in here. Like I don't care if she pulls out every single spoon for a baby or all of our little baby cups. Like that's totally fine for her to play with. I just didn't want her playing with plastic. this really wide for is my next stop to go and declutter. I did this organization recently in a video where I just tried everything being loose in the drawer next to our knife organizer, and uh, I just don't have very great uh, drawer liners in there, so it was shifting around, it was just not working out for us. And like I always say in my videos, it's okay if something doesn't work out, you can just try again. So I was at Marshall's and saw this customizable, like extendable drawer organizer and thought this would be great to organize all of those big tools that we had in here. And I hoped it would fit with our little knife organizer in here, but sadly, you'll see right here that it is not going to work that way. I'm gonna end up rehoming our knives and just reorganizing all of the spaces in here, being a little bit flexible because I really wanted a little more structure in these drawers and this thing has been great. I'll try to find it on Amazon, but I found it at Marshall's for like 10 or eleven dollars. I'm moving the knives into this little drawer that's over by our oven. I'm still reaching for our knives in the other drawer, like I haven't fully accustomed to them being over here yet, but it's surprisingly a really great fit in this drawer, so I'm sure we'll get used to it soon. Okay, doing that organizing with Maddie around um, resulted in quite the mess left behind in the kitchen. I'm glad I got it done, and it was an activity to do while Madeline was awake. If you have littles, you understand sometimes filling the hours can be challenging, and a lot of the times pulling out new things like that for her, like I was giving her everything in my donate pile to just play with, that is the most entertaining thing imaginable to a toddler. Um, so kitchen's a disaster. We need to get the kitchen under control, but I'm very, very glad the organizing part is done off my to-do list. We'll see how it works. I normally share this in my organizing videos, but I always just like kind of use these systems loosely. If they don't work, it's not a huge deal. I can rearrange it. Like how I moved the knives from this drawer to the drawer by the oven. In my last video, I like did not have it organized that way. And now with a new system and new tools in place, like it's going to be a little bit different and that's totally okay. So don't be afraid to change your organizing or just like feel like you need to be set in your ways and figure out the perfect way. Like in my case, it is changing and evolving daily with a baby in the kitchen. <laughs> so don't be discouraged if you have to update and change your organizing. I definitely do and uh, it's just life. But let's go to cleaning the kitchen. I really want to sit down and enjoy this nap time. Uh, Maddie's asleep, which is why I can clean the kitchen now <laughs> and talk to the camera without squealing. But I want to use at least part of this nap time to be productive, clean up the kitchen, package up my donations, and then I'll sit down and read and enjoy the nap time. Yeah. Every time I get too close, you push me away. Don't want to stick telling me you don't want any obligations and how you hate them. I'm kind of procrastinating a bit by starting over with the living room pickup and tidy up, but I was just overwhelmed by the mess in the kitchen and it had been already a long day with Maddie. So gonna start easy, get a quick win under my belt by just pulling all of her toys away, putting away blankets and all that stuff, and then slowly working my way towards the kitchen. Making me, 
Give me something straight from your heart All this insecurity is tearing me apart You're making me sleepless You're making me sleepless Yeah I keep losing in this game, I'm playing pretend I don't wanna be a 4 a.m. I'm suffocating Just by waiting on you So don't call me just cause you're lonely You know you're killing me slowly nah. Maybe I'm yours, maybe I'm not I think about it way too much and every single thought Just making me Making me Give me something straight from your heart All this insecurity is tearing me apart You're making me sleepless You're making me sleepless Something I want to share with you guys that I love from my favorite podcaster, The Lazy Genius. It actually it might seem kind of silly, but you guys might already do this. I don't know, but it's worth sharing because it's made my life a little bit easier in the kitchen. And she talks about having zones in her kitchen. She specifically has two zones. One is the dirty dish zone and one is the refrigerator zone. So in her house, she always has all of her dirty dishes just put on the counter directly above the dishwasher. So right here, this area of the counter that I just cleared off is her dirty dish zone. So even when she doesn't have the time to sit down and spend five minutes, 10 minutes doing all the dishes, she at least is able to contain them all in one space and make it less stressful. So you don't have dirty dishes all over the rest of the house. Or if you pick up the living room and you have some cups or some plates in there, you have a spot to put them without needing to address it right away. And it seems silly, like it doesn't seem like a big deal, like you're just putting your dirty dishes from one space to another, but it totally has changed the way I can clean because I used to think like, oh, it's not clean. I have to go put these dishes from the living room. I have to go put them in the dishwasher for them to be done like no you can just put them in the dirty dish zone that's where they belong and it still is perfectly clean and she also has a zone called the refrigerator zone where she's cooking or making breakfast lunch or dinner or a snack or something and it's a spot on the counter right next to the refrigerator where she will just place anything that needs to go back to the fridge everyone in our household knows this so if someone's walking by and sees a bunch of stuff piled there they can help her out and do that or she can just wait until she's done cooking and everything is right next to the refrigerator and easy to move in it seems kind of silly you're just like maybe it's a little too obvious but having little spaces like that can make a huge difference in just running your kitchen smoothly and i would definitely recommend like trying out one of the two try out having a dirty dish zone or try having a refrigerator zone and see if your flow in the kitchen is a little bit easier when the lights go out and there's no doubt that i should be with that i should be we've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me Next up to be decluttered is this hall closet we have downstairs. We have all of our jackets and coats in here. We have our shoes here, hats, and it's just a little bit overstuffed, a little bit messy. And these bins up top, once again, Maddie's been getting into different spaces she hasn't been able to get into before, and I just need to get things out of the way. So like I have, so I've completely replaced some of these bins with like candles and just things she can't have. And it's well overdue to pull all of this out, organize it, declutter it, refresh this space. So give me a sign. Okay, uh, 
uh, please excuse me if I look frazzled. It's going to the kitchen. I am distracted right now. Today's Today's been a day. Um, extra caffeine is definitely needed, so I've got this really cute mug my sister-in-law got me for my birthday. It's a bunch of different books on it. I'm gonna make some black tea, get the caffeine going, and then we're gonna resume the organizing. <laughs> I pulled all the bins out of the closet. Like, I did everything I could with Madeline awake, and now she's asleep, and we can finish working. And I also wanted to show you, I had a little Goodwill run. I'm kind of kicking myself because I didn't think I was organizing more today, and I am now, and I already have a pile of donations, and I already took my donations from the kitchen to Goodwill. That's what we did as our little outing of the day. And while we were there, I knew I needed more vases. I got flowers from Christian for Valentine's Day. I got flowers for myself a couple days ago. And so I only have two vases and they are in use. And I'm like, that doesn't seem like a good amount of vases. So I found this guy. It's very cute. It's kind of like a brownish pink color. And then it's got little bubbles in it. It's very, very cute, very sweet. $4 from Goodwill. I don't know where I'm gonna store him, but that's my little thrift find of the day. But I am gonna make this tea. Sorry if you can hear the water boiling. But I'm gonna caffeinate and then resume this project. I have these bins from Target and I'm planning on taking these up into our master bedroom. We have one more shelf in our closet that's nothing that nothing is on. And that, so I'm gonna stow away some things up there. This bin is gonna be all heavy duty winter stuff. We are leaving the cold season and I don't think we really touched any of this stuff. So uh, that's gonna go away at scarves and hats and gloves. And then these three bins are the top of the downstairs linen closet. I had to empty out our candle drawer into this bin because Madeline can now access it. So I need to actually go through this and figure out what's happening with all of that. And then I need to declutter some stuff. We've got hats galore. There are more sweatshirts in this closet than any couple should ever own in their entire life. So I'm gonna go through and simplify this, tidy up the shoes, and then finish this decluttering project strong. I don't know, that's where I'm gonna stop. Oh. You know what else I need to do? This front entryway table, you can't even really see it, but this table by our front door has a bunch of board games in it and Madeline could get to them and now she's learning how to open things like board games and tiny pieces and toddlers do not mix well. So maybe I'll put our board games and stuff in that second target bin. Right now I only have one of them full to go upstairs in the closet. That might be the smart move. When I originally filled this basket with all of our candle stuff, I did not declutter it. Like, I'm pretty sure Maddie was with me, so I did not have time to like organize it or go through it all or get rid of extra lids or whatnot. So I'm taking the time to do that now. I'm gonna have a couple things to throw out. And now I've got a good idea of what my candle stock is. Surprisingly, it's not too much. And a lot of them are like decorative. Let me know if I'm crazy that there are some candles I like for burning, like I want them just for the scent. And then there are some candles that are just pretty and like decor. We were meant to be. These are the drawers where the candles used to be kept, but like I said, I pulled those out of there, and now I'm pulling out the rest of the non-Madeline friendly items there, mostly stuff for the PlayStation or TV, and then I'm gonna store that up in that closet along with the candles. Now, I <laughs> have a hard time uh, going through the jackets here because I don't want to call out Christian. He's a guy who just loves hoodies and jackets. That's like his favorite thing to shop for clothing-wise. It's like his favorite souvenir if we travel somewhere. So uh, the bulk of these sweatshirts are Christian's, and so it's kind of hard to go through and declutter someone else's things. I never just straight up throw away his things without asking him, like especially something that's just like his personal jackets. So I am going to go through and pull out maybe five or six that I think he might be considering or maybe willing to let go of and I'm gonna leave a pile aside for him to look through later um, spoiler alert I pulled out five or six and then uh, he could get rid of one so that's just how life is you make compromises and make it work for who you're living with so I'm just gonna be going through sorting through these jackets and then organizing them a bit making it seem a little bit less cluttered in my head at least so just sit with me talking through the night into the morning building history and I don't think I ever wanna go come closer next 
to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think Another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. Dog hair loves to accumulate in this closet, and at first I was like, I just want to do a quick tidy up, a quick clean up, but then, like, you can see the literal tumbleweeds in the back here. This is the last clip I'm filming from this day, I'm pretty sure, and I was overwhelmed. I knew I wanted to clear out the drawers here, or what is this called? The cabinets. I'm overwhelmed right now thinking of words. Um, I wanted to clean out these cabinets because like I said, Maddie was getting into these, opening them and like puzzle pieces and a baby is not a good idea. So I knew I wanted to clear this out and then I started opening up the middle drawers and there was just so much junk in here that I, like I was hitting decision fatigue. Like I was not able to decide like, do I donate this? Where does this go if it goes somewhere else in the house? Can a family member use this? Like I, I hit the wall here. So I'm gonna just wrap up this part of the cleaning process, kind of put this on the back burner I don't come back to this space in this video you can't even see in this drawer but I will come back to it in a future video so stay tuned for more decluttering content make sure you're also subscribed to my channel if you're not YouTube likes to play little tricky games and doesn't like to show my videos to everybody so make sure you're subscribed and if you really want to make sure you don't miss out on any videos hit that little notification bell also those little things liking this video commenting engaging all of that kind of tricks YouTube into liking these videos and suggesting it to more people so if you really are enjoying my channel, that's like the biggest thank you you can give me for creating this content is uh, engaging, liking, all of those things. I also love to talk to you guys in the comments. So whenever you respond, it makes my day a little bit better. But we're moving on to a, another day of cleaning. <laughs> Christian had walked into our bedroom the night before and was like, please tell me you're filming this soon because he is a tidy man and does not like things to be messy and things had been out of control for a little while. So now we're gonna just do some good hardcore picking up, decluttering, and then getting all also into my closet a little bit. Doing what you do, doing what you do. Just keep on doing what you do, doing what you do. I know it's a little early to think about Easter, but I saw these at Target and had to grab them for Maddie's Easter basket. It's a bunch of bows and some little cute rainbow sparkly Easter bunny ears. I think that'll be so sweet for her. And it was only $6, so I thought that was a pretty good deal because the Easter bunny ears are like just for like just Easter, but the bows are good for year round. I did pull one of the little barrettes off and started using it already, but that's a little find that I'm gonna tuck away for Easter. I'm already excited thinking about the little things I'm gonna put in that basket for her. That's, it's just so much fun to think about. But moving into the bedroom, I'm gonna start with making the bed because everything seems less overwhelming when the bed is made. <laughs> and then we're gonna get to the rest of the mess. Instead of being lonely, we could be gazing at the stars, but now it feels just like I wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me. I never gave the key to you, even though I wanted to. Should be trying something new, but now my body's sick. I'm tired of dwelling in the dark. It's just that my heart can't take it. I didn't know what it would cost me when I let you go. I feel alone, and I'm just singing. Mm, mm, mm. It should have been you. Another time, another place. I just know. Mm, it could have been you. What a crime and what a 
a shame to let go.、Mm-hmm. Sometimes I just don't know what to do. It should have been you. I could be driving to your place, but now the crown is shaking. Could be a face, but it feels like it will never go away until we make up. A couple days had passed since I last filmed the、uh, clips downstairs, so I actually had time to go to Target and pick up a third white bin. I really like these; they're only nine dollars, so not a bad price. They have a little bit of flexibility, a little give, and they're not terribly unsightly.、Um, <laughs> I am going to try to fit everything here into these bins and then up into the closet. You'll see we're going to struggle a little bit with that, but I'm going to go to the closet in another video. Like I said, way more decluttering is coming along on this channel. I feel like our house has like changed. So much recently, and I have not stayed on top of the organizing and decluttering. Being a mom to a toddler and going to the zoo and all of that stuff has been the big priority in our lives. But it's starting to catch up to us. Like the chaos and the clutter, like you can see here in the closet, is it's catching up to me, and it's a little bit overwhelming. So definitely going to be focusing the next couple videos on getting things back under control in our home, especially with the ever-changing baby-proofing we're doing. It's just a, it's just a lot to manage. Some things need to be finding new homes. We need to be squeezing things. Things into new places that previously weren't storage spaces and just complications like that. So, if you're looking for some organizing and decluttering, this channel over the next couple of weeks is going to be the channel for you for sure. These bins didn't fit perfectly in the closet. Like the bins will fit on that top shelf, but nothing can be sticking out the top of them. So it's not like the perfect solution for these board games because they're all awkward shapes. And I don't know. I'm probably gonna find a different place to store these. But for right now, I wanted progress, not perfection. And getting these off of our dresser would be major progress. So I'm gonna make this work. I'm gonna have to just stack a couple of them in the corner of our closet. That's why I want to come back to this space and do a full closet cleanout, organization, declutter. I want to find a better home for these board games. Games. I have more of those、uh, square baskets on that bottom shelf. Maybe I'll bring those in there, and、uh, I don't know. We're gonna figure that out in a future video. So, like I said, stay tuned for that content. But keeping on with the progress over perfection, we're gonna start a load of laundry. I never separate any of my laundry. I will say that all of my nice workout clothing I do just hang dry. That doesn't go to the dryer. But I make myself feel a little better about doing all of my laundry in one load by always washing it on the cold cycle. That way, colors don't bleed as much. Maybe you guys are judging me super hard for that, but if you are overwhelmed by laundry, I highly recommend one load cold cycle. It's worked out fine for me for 26 years now, and with the closet cleared out and nice and empty, it feels so good to have this space look like this now. I Christian's elated, <laughs> but I have it cleared out and I can finally pull out my vacuum and vacuum all of the upstairs now. <laughs> it kinda makes me go crazy. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions. 
Christian was helping me out by entertaining Maddie downstairs while I was working up in the bedroom this morning, but uh, she knows what she wants and she wanted to go upstairs because she could hear me running around up there and Christian uh, gave in to avoid the temper tantrum. We're definitely in that phase of parenting, which is interesting and fun, but you can see her there. And now everything upstairs is nice and clean and way less chaotic. Progress, not perfection. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for hanging around. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.